Oh, yeah, yeah. I, th I think that worked. Cool. So, um, hi. Uh, welcome to another stream. Uh, this is just... Uh, Retro's asleep right now, so I couldn't really do anything. So I was like, you know what? I I've been bored all day. Might as well start streaming, because um, I almost never do that on my own anymore. Oh, really? He, he He's not sleeping anymore. Okay. Well, okay, let's see, Retro. Logically speaking, you stream 5,000 fucking times a month. I never get to stream. Let me do it this time. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, if you want to join, you can. Just get your ass on here. I, I was not planning anything. Um, anyway, I I've been okay. I've just been... What have I been doing all day? I have no idea. Oh, he just woke up, so if he curses you out, chat, um, that's why. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, okay. Well, so it's just... Alright, I guess I'll go call him then. Hold on, I need to, like, move our chat. Yeah, that works. Um... Are you there? Sorry. Another month down. Here's to many more. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. The resub kind of uh, went over your voice. What'd you say? Hi. Is he audible at all? He sounds kind of low on my end. Uh, am I low? Blah 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 blah. Well, as long as you guys can hear him. Oh, yes? No? <laughs> okay, let me lower the music then. I can't... can't. Alright, say something again. Hello. Hi. I'm Poopy. Yeah, keep going. Because the music and stopped as soon as you started. I really enjoy long beaches on the walk and sunny days and... Okay. All right, that's good. Um, I just had to turn down the background music a little bit. Oh, the Eric, uh, here. This will. <laughs> okay, this should be good, hopefully. We won't be able to tell if you don't say anything, Retro. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> hi guys, I'm Retro Spectre. Hope you're all having a good day today. There you go. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, pull your VTuber up. I hate all of you. Pecan I just pancakes. woke up. Let me guess, pecan pancakes. Okay. So, okay, this is kind of random, but, um, something I just found out about the Roblox app, which is pretty cool, is that it doesn't dox your fucking dashboard when you switch between games. So that's actually pretty neat. <laughs> just imagine. Yeah, that's you, nice. It, it's just showing you all the recent games I played and shit, so you can like stream snipe me. Hey, what was the numbers for the magenta? It was like, uh, how am I supposed to know off the top of my head? There's like a bunch of like. Is it zeros. FF zero zero FF? FF zero zero FF. Yes. Uh, I actually remembered. What the fuck? <laughs> Foof. What the hell? Okay, um, let me screen Oh yeah, share. I heard that Roblox has a VR mode. I wonder, I kind of want to try that. Okay, should be good. You're very tiny. Oh yeah, here. Ah. Um, hold on, I need to pop you out. Ma. No. <laughs> Do not pull a metro. <laughs> Ma. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> it just automatically... Okay, that works. <laughs> um, only slight issue is... I need to put you on a screen that I will not touch. That's gonna Wait, be you don't want to touch me? What the fuck? Well, if... Just... Hey. You're kind of saturated. <sighs> Shut up, God. <laughs> Let me just get rid of the stupid audio spectrum, because your voice is ridiculous. 
What do you mean? Can you get out from behind me? Yeah, there. That's better. Kinda. Now you're just covering chat, you fat ass. Go the other way. There you go. Okay. Um. Wait, what happens if I... Oh, gross. There, now I'm next to chat, so the only thing that's uh, keeping you from sudden death is me. Because that thing's gonna kill you. Do you still have your flame tied to farting? No. Okay, good. <laughs> Ew. Okay, well, anyway, um, now I can actually pay attention to the chat because there's no more setup involved, so how's, how's everyone doing? Because I'm doing... neutral. Um, okay, so... Basically... Um, okay. So, it's not a plug. I promise it's not a plug. But in about 10 days, uh, it's going to be my birthday. And so... Usually what I do is I upload a, a remix or like a song or anything and so uh, So basically what happens is I've been doing this since I Turned 18 I think since I was like 17 going on 18 and so what happens is I would say that this is my final remix and then as a well, in this case, 24 year old, and then after the, sl the slide after, I say that I turned 25. Here. Why don't I just fucking show you? I'm an idiot. All right, here. Just... Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go tiny. Retro. Get, get your butt down here. Hmm. That, that's better. Here, I can show you my browser, and it's gonna be a separate browser that won't show all of my stuff. So, that's cool. See? It's a different browser thingy. Okay, so... As I was saying, let's go to YouTube. Yeah, I can definitely spell YouTube. I wonder if I'll, um... What the fuck is that? Earn money online. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me see. If I just type... K... Ring. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop the music. Stop it. Go away, music. Okay, so this is my first example. Oh, that's loud. Okay. So, you, you get the gist. Now that I didn't explain to you through words, I literally just said, this is my final remix as a 17-year-old. I turn 18. So, I've been doing that since then. And so, I need to do one this year. Uh... Only problem is, this is probably my worst year in terms of motivation with music, so I think I'm probably just gonna upload one of my mod songs or something <laughs> instead. The only thing that sucks about this, though, um, uh, let me see, hopes and dreams. I think this was the other one. Sometimes, sometimes people get kind of fooled by this. This is the 18 to 19 one. And some people legit thought I was quitting. I think I actually lost a bunch of subs on this on this video, which was kind of ridiculous, but that's how kids are. They they're very dumb. <laughs> this was when I did when I like blew up from Undertale, so the Undertale kids were, were kinda a little um stupid, but <laughs> just and then there's, what was, uh, let me see, 2017, <clears throat> this is 2016, so 2017 was uh, Mount Blaze, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. There's a whole history of this shit. And then uh, the next one was Ice, uh, wait, Ice Cap, Ice Cap, yeah, that was that one. As a 20 year old, I turned 21. Now, if I could, I'm trying to see if I could remember the, all of them off the top of my head. This one is also, it, it was a one shot remix, but I forgot what the song name was. Oh, 11th Hour, okay. Wow, that's kind of fitting. <laughs> I mean, 
And then... There's that one. And then 22 to 23 was... Uh... Mute City. Not that one. This one. Yeah, there's that one. And then the one last year's was uh, Headspace. So, yeah, I've been doing this for a while. If you want no! Congress to work for the... No, we're not doing political ads right now. Can, can we... Can Damn it! It's... I'm just I'm waiting for the ad to stop. Okay. The ad has a point though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and then this was the one from last year. Okay, so you can tell I've been doing this for long enough when I put that means I'm what? What? Hi. Kamix and Retro, I hope you and Miles are doing fine. Think you two can create a tornado with your heat and blizzard abilities in theory? Probably. Do you want to create a tornado? No. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to. Anyway, I've been doing this for so long that every single year there's plenty of people that are like, please don't quit. And I literally just, at this point, I'm, I put it in big letters. That means I'm not quitting. Because <laughs> I knew people were going to, whatever. Anyway. So that's that tradition. Um, I need to do it for this year. I have like two remixes in the work, or not in the works. I have one remix that I can put that I kind of just had lying around for a long time. And that was like a Dire Dire Docs remix from like Mario 64. I guess I could use that one. Um, I could also just post one of the mod songs because I don't think a lot of people actually know that I'm making a third week. Well, this is like a minus week, but still it is a third week technically. But I will need a thumbnail for that. So that, that's, that's kind of my predicament right now. I, I think at least with the Mario 64 one, I can just like, I could just like spoof one. Like just make one in Photoshop, so that's not a problem. Birthday presents to myself, dude. Jack and Daxter. Look, I know you're a Jack and Daxter fan too. Don't be sneaky. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, Electro, do you think you can do um a thumbnail in ten days? At least uh, ten, you know, ten days. Okay. Um, I might talk to you about that later then. But, uh, any horror. I hate that I'm starting to get, like, a little hungry, too. But, okay, I, I don't turn 24 today. I don't want to have a, a fucking existential crisis because, uh, I'm going to be 25. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. I remember I said that once on Twitter and somebody was like, why are you old? And then I said, I'm old enough to do your mom. I like how the music stopped when I said that. So that's gonna, that's gonna be my new comeback now. That's right, bitches. I don't- Retro, are you okay? What? Yeah? You're, you're kinda loopy. I just woke up. I don't care. Stop being loopy on my stream, or I'll kick you out. Wow. What are you gonna do? Turn on your glowy eyes? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> What? Why are you crying now? I want to eat kids now. 
Uh, well, Bones, um... Okay, guys. We are doing an age check. How old is everybody here? It's not for any, uh, you know, particular reason. Just, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Bones, I got you. Some of you guys are fucking lying. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh yeah, speaking of the whole like kids thing, um So like as you guys may or may not know, Retro has a um Retro has like a ref sheet for, you know, retro or whatever, wrath. And one of the bullet points says that he like does not like kids. And let me tell you that that has spawned some of the most annoying fucking rants about Retro. Like, every once in a while we would, like, find either something on Twitter or something on Discord of, like, a kid being like, Man, does he actually hate children? Because, like, I'm a kid and, like, you know, I, you know it would hurt my feelings if he didn't like me. And it's like, God, <laughs> he's a fictional character. What are you talking about? <laughs> what, what do you mean, block you on my not safe work? Just don't go to my not safe work account. <laughs> what? <laughs> or block me yourself? I th that's weird. <laughs> But yeah, no, like, it, it's kind of, it was kind of weird that a lot of these kids kind of, like, tried to make it about themselves when, I, it, first of all, the retro in the ref sheet is a fictional character. I don't think this retro that's right next to me here does it. I, I don't think he hates kids. I mean, like, that's the thing, too. We'll hate you if you're fucking annoying. <laughs> like, that's with any age. Yeah, you can be 30 and I'll still hate you. Oh yeah, we've hated some 30-year-olds, that's for sure. But but that's the thing, right? If you're a kid and you're, you know, not annoying as shit, then you're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and like, here, I'll give you a guide on how to not be annoying. <clears throat> Stop asking personal questions. <laughs> Like, really personal questions. You know how many times we got the who's the top and who's the bottom question? You don't ask. Like, <laughs> it's not something you ask. Especially like, as a minor. Especially as a minor, yeah. And most of the people who do ask that are minors, which is weird as shit, but thanks. But, yeah. Like, I mean... It's just don't don't do that. Um, also, don't beg for attention. Like th that's that's something that a lot of kids tend to do. Like especially in YouTube chat, you guys seem to be fine. But in YouTube chat, there was there was definitely plenty of kids that would go like, "Notice me," and it's like, I I don't really know how to respond to that. <laughs> you have been noticed. I don't know. That just sounds pretentious. I don't like it. So it's kind of. Yeah, and then you would also get people, like, another thing is that we read the chat. We actually do. So, like, whenever we see someone that's like, he never reads the chat. He's fucking, he's a, he's a jerk. It's like, I, I can I can see that. Now I'm really not going to talk to you. <laughs> but, yeah, I know. I, I do pretty much ignore YouTube chat, which makes it kind of pointless for me to stream there. Are you streaming so, on there right now? No, I don't. I'm not. Gotcha. No, that, that's why I, I kind of keep it to here because smaller audience and also less annoying by, by proxy. So, but yeah, that's that's my rant on children. They're not all bad, but like the ones that talk shit on Twitter are very annoying. It's like I I, I know damn well your mom is not gonna like the fact that you're talking mad shit to adult strangers on the internet. <laughs> like, so please, before I bring your parents in. Anyway. It's like, I 
man, just just chill out. Be be a be a normal person. So anyway, um what have I been doing lately besides trying to make music and getting mad and closing it? Oh yeah, I've been playing um a lot of Gran Turismo again. It's kind of like okay. Basically, it's it's a game from my childhood that was like a racing game, and it's the reason why I could tell you a lot of car makes and what countries they're from. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but, you know, it's whatever. I wouldn't call myself, like, a car guy. I'm more of, like, a fake car guy, I guess. I don't know. Because, like, I, I can't tell you what the fuck torque is. I, I don't know what that is. Or, like, displacement or whatever car guys talk about. Alternators and shit. I can tell you that... Hyundai's from uh, South Korea. <laughs> oh, it was uh, Gran Turismo 3. I've been playing a lot of that lately. Because before that, I had like a binge of Gran Turismo 4. But um, I just played 3 more. And Jesus Christ, I think 3 is like a lot harder than 4 for some reason. But yeah, it's it's... I don't know which one's my favorite. It's either three or four. It's a tough, it's a tough decision. But yeah, I've been playing three a lot now. And it's, it's funny, like, when you win here, uh, I don't know what year it is. Was it 2003? Hold on. I, I gotta, I gotta show you this. So when you win one of the races, you get this, like, pink Toyota Vitz. And, okay, I'm gonna save the image here. Just you get you get this car. It's like it's like a little pink Karen car. The the shittiest car you'll ever get. But I tricked it out, putting like turbos on it and also um, upgrading the drivetrain, and it just zooms past cars like the fucking Mitsubishi Lancer. I don't understand. It's hilarious. But anyway, um, the, the, oh my God, the TikTok pink sauce, get out of here. <laughs> God, I, that shit looks gross. I don't understand how, I don't understand how people would actually want to eat that. Here, I, for those who don't know, uh, here, pink sauce. Okay. Let me ask those who are out of the loop. Does this look fucking appetizing? <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so big. Does this look fucking appetizing to you? <laughs> it does not. What is this? The pink sauce from TikTok. Basically, this lady is like making her own sauce and um, she... People were asking, like, is this FDA approved? Like, what's in it? She's not telling anybody what's in it. She's just selling it for, by the way, $20 a bottle. And I guess the whole point is for you to try it, and then you can, like, guess what the taste is for marketing reasons. But mm. when people asked her if the sauce was FDA approved, her answer was, why would it need to be FDA approved? It's not, it's not medicine. <laughs> what does the F in FDA stand for? Food. <laughs> what is the sauce? Food. <laughs> I just, uh, it's it's kind of funny. I mean, if she if she's doing this because she's like, just like trolling everybody, then she's a fucking masterful troll. I just, I, I don't know, man. But So yeah, that's the pink sauce. I swear to god I saw someone earlier. Yeah, okay. But anyway, F is for Fedison, indeed, yeah. <laughs> Petra, have you been playing any games lately? 
Um, just some Power Wash Simulator. I finally checked out Multiverses, so I can safely say I've played it, and it's all right. I, I was gonna say because like you didn't say anything at first. I thought you were like I, you're avoiding to say that you don't like it. I can see it definitely. It's definitely like when you compare all the other Smash clones out there, like the Cartoon Network one, the Nickelodeon one. This one's definitely the best because you know it has like voice acting and stuff. Also, my mouth is I'm seeing see through. That. What the hell? It hasn't always been like that, has it? I don't think so. No. What is your mouth magenta? What's going on? You might need to like up the. Oh yeah, yeah. Threshold. I'll yeah. leave my mouth open. Thank you for that. Oh okay. All right, open wide. I'm the dentist. I, I, yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like I'm at the dentist. <laughs> uh. 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 Is it purple in there? What? Yeah, it is. Oh. Okay, well, you're good now. Okay. I guess the magenta chroma key was a little too strong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, um... Get a blue interior like me. Ah. <laughs> and then they kissed. What the hell is that? Huh. That just sounded like a handball on concrete. A handball on concrete. Okay, you can you you don't have to open your mouth anymore. I can't close it. Oh. Uh, we have lockjaw or something. Uh, what? The, okay, the the little blue ball. Oh. Uh, little blue handball. Okay, that hurts my mouth. Yeah, stop doing more. it. And her. Okay, have you guys ever played with these? Oh shit, hold on. I hate when it does that. I don't want to save as a JFIF. There you go. Have you ever played with these? We used to play these with these all the time in like New York City. These are Ace's balls, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but like, we would call these handballs. So, they just bounce like fucking insanely they're like made of rubber and you bounce the shit out of them off of like the cement or like the street or whatever and they go so high it's insane but um yeah we would Panda said they sent you something wait what oh oh <laughs> that's cute here look i'll show it Thank you, that's adorable. He looks like an old man. Look at <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. No. 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 <laughs> Thank you, it's cute. Um But yeah, uh what was I saying? Okay. So we would throw it as high as we could against the the school wall. And then the first person to catch it was the next person to throw it, I guess. There was also this one game called Suicide. Oh, okay. Uh, trigger warning. <laughs> Just kidding. But it was there. We called it that because what happens is you would throw it really high up in the air. And the first person to catch it... Um would have to throw the ball as hard as they could at somebody and if you get hit by it you're out but the reason why it's called suicide is because you would run to the wall tag it and scream suicide i don't know we were kids i don't know why we would say that but <laughs> yeah we i don't think we even knew what the hell that meant we just called it that but yeah those are edgy ass kids from 2000 five <laughs> 2000 what for the you know what some of you guys were born that year some of you guys were born after that year i don't okay so for for those who are older than me if you want to feel even older um people born in 2005 turned 17 this year that's fucking insane <laughs> like what 
this is what? <laughs> like, I don't know. When I think of 2005, it doesn't feel like s that long ago. I remember, like, I don't know, Christmas of 2005 when I, my cousin got an Xbox 360 and I was jealous. You did not start high school in 2005. That, that's not... What? I started high school in 2011. <laughs> no, I'm not 17. No, I'm 24. <laughs> God, if I... If I was... If I was 17, it would be 2015 right now. There you go. All those numbers, they probably confuse you guys. I'm sorry. No, I said I said that people born in 2005 will be 17 this year. So, yeah. Why do you look so sad? Hmm? Why do you look so sad? Because my webcam is lower, so it has a hard time tracking my face correctly. Yeah, I was 17 in 2015. Yeah, you know, it's interesting to think that that was actually quite a bit ago. That that was when I graduated high school. I was class of 2015. But also, I think I graduated a year earlier than I should have because I was the youngest of my class. Oh yeah, it was funny, like, I remember my sister, who is nine years old right now, she was wearing a shirt that said, like, class of 2021, and I, I wanted to, like, I wanted to, like, just blow her mind for a sec, so I basically told her, hey, so, like, you graduated, like, what was it, elementary school in 2021? Well, <laughs> I graduated elementary in 2008, and she was like, what?! <laughs> It was hilarious, because, like, it just, I don't know, just the idea that, I, I can't put it into words, but she was just, like, mind blown by that. I wish I could play the bass like Davey 504. My base is just over there collecting dust. Yeah, time is... Um, I left elementary when you were born. That's insane to think about. <laughs> but yeah, time is... It can be f both fascinating, terrifying, and comforting all at the same time. <laughs> It's just so fucking weird. Oh, what song is this? This is, um... It's... it's oh god, let me get the link before it disappears. There you go. It's uh, Glitchek City. She made a uh, lo-fi album that has been playing for the past, like, 20 minutes. It was the last song on the album. Alright, have fun at guitar lessons. You better build up those calluses. Because that's how you... That's how your fingers stop hurting. I turned 25 this year. So, like, in 10 days. Yeah. <sighs> Crazy to think. But, um... Taking computer music lessons. You know, I think when I was in high school, I actually had, like, a music production class. But it was, like, it was, like, the most basic thing. And not in a bad way, but more so, like, getting people familiar with stuff like GarageBand. And the teacher was so sweet, too. But, yeah.
We use a thing in school called EJ, like a budget FL Studio. I need to see that. Hold on. Am I reading that right? Yeah, I think I am. L l let's see what this looks like. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Holy shit, this looks like this was designed in 2003. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here, look at this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it really does give me early 2000s vibes. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, LMMS, God. I've heard awful things about <laughs> from that. Mr. Frozen, I didn't freeze you. Why are you frozen? What? Maybe we should swap places. Why? What do you mean, why? You know what? No. We're swapping places. Fuck you. It's from 1997 with the latest release from 2002. Wow. It's as old as me. Back when I apparently made music, I used an app on my phone with simple as music. Thankfully, that was a while ago, and I'm actually planning to make proper music of my own at some time. Have you heard of Ableton? Yeah, I've actually uh, I've used it a couple times. It's good. I just... If it wasn't $400, I probably would have bought it, but yeah, I've made like a doodle or two on Ableton, and I can see why a lot of people like it. The thing was, the thing about that though is that I've been using FL Studio since I was 13, so I'm kind of stuck with it <laughs> because I know it the best, unfortunately, <laughs> even though there are plenty of other softwares that are like much more intuitive, but <laughs> it's the one I chose when I was a kid, and now that I know it as well as I do, It'd be kind of dumb for me to switch, but... Hey, Cam. Huh? What's your favorite piano VST? I'm still trying to find one. I hate Giant. What do you like that's not Giant? I guess Grandeur or Maverick. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm Those trying are... to find one that's not Giant either. Yeah, I hate Giant at this point. <laughs> I've been using Giant since, like, I think, 2016, and at this point, I am sick to death of the sound that it has. Like, there's a distinct sound that it has that I fucking hate at this point, but I just... It's the only piano that has such a hard-hitting, like, tone when you crank the velocity all the way up, so I'm like, fuck, okay, fine, I'll, I'll still use it, but I don't like the sound of it. It's one of those things that sticks out like a sore thumb every time you hear it. At least to me, because I've been using it for so long. But, um, it's kind of, I don't know, Nexus Piano was like that to me too. Yeah, Ableton is, I think, 400 or something like that, and it was... Like, the thing is, it's kind of like the industry standard. But it's expensive, <laughs> and I don't know if I'll like it. But, yeah. Any whore. No, oh, no, I did the thing. P. Huh? 
<laughs> well, here's the thing, guys. If you just want to do music to kind of just like test the waters and see if you like it or not. Yar Hark. Um, Yar Matey. And I know, I know. Ooh, ooh, that's illegal. You can't do that. But like, here's the thing. Music is very expensive. It's super expensive. And very it's like $4,000 for a program called Nexus and all its plugins that we've been, me and Karen's have been using for like years. But the thing is, if you use this stuff and you end up liking it a lot and say like you get successful from it, that's when you can go buy it legitimately. So like... That's what me and Kamix have done. Yeah. As soon as I was able to afford it, the first thing I did was buy it. <laughs> not, but yeah, not like... No, no, no. <clears throat> huh? I so said we're not doing Nexus plus all expansions. No, no, anymore. I'm not doing no damn Nexus. I don't even use Nexus anymore. <laughs> it's all yeah, Serum, I, I, baby. I barely use it now. Serum and um, Omnisphere. Which I paid for both. Which is fucking expensive. Okay, so to put you into perspective... Those two plugins I just mentioned, Serum and, um, what was the other one? Omnisphere? <clears throat> so, together, they cost $690. Together. And you would think, oh, then I'm set. If I buy these two things, then I'll be able to make music, right? No. Because you still need the software to run those plugins. Those are just plugins. Which is FL. You can get it for 200 bucks, but like, that's the thing. Altogether, $890. I, I paused because I had to do the math. <laughs> Altogether, $890. <laughs> so, yeah. Obviously, I paid for a lot of this stuff over seven or so years, so it's not terrible considering I'm making money from making music so like you know it kind of balances out after a while but this is why we're saying we don't condone it not publicly on stream <laughs> but we understand if you do we're not gonna be mad at you for it if you want to learn just... there's you can but do it to Adobe products they, they, they can go fuck themselves I mean, it's the same with emulation, right? Like, they don't sell a lot of these in copies anymore. And because they don't have them on the virtual console, your options are spend $500 on Soul Silver copy or just download it online. I. I. I guess? What? I'm, I'm just, this is a weird analogy, but yeah, <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it. It would, cause like, my point is, things are extremely fucking expensive and not very accessible. So like, I find it kind of justified in that case. That's it. Both with music and emulating. Ooh. Yeah, no, look. I'm sorry, Nintendo. But I'm not gonna buy the first Super Mario 15 times like you keep reselling me. <laughs> what if I want a more obscure game that you never fucking resell? But we bought All-Stars anyways. <laughs> We're consumers! I didn't buy the Mario 35. Which apparently they don't sell anymore at this point. That's fucking stupid. And 3D thought... All Stars, huh? Oh, I was getting it confused with All Stars. Yeah, no, 3D All Stars, they also stopped selling. It, yeah, it's weird. I don't know. No, no, no. That, that doesn't mean that's the 35th Mario. That's the 35th anniversary of Mario, I think. Right? Yeah, we used we used Silent before. We have it. It's we? good. I thought you have it. I don't have it anymore, but um, uh -huh. I used to Didn't use it. Didn't somebody... Yeah. 
didn't somebody get caught like streaming a pirated silent or something and then their like record company like abandoned them or some shit that sounds familiar but i don't remember who it was yeah you're the one that told me but yeah even even professionals be pirating shit because it's like are we really gonna pay that much for a plug-in <laughs> like, yeah and again obviously if you have the money and you know you're gonna use it then buy it obviously unless it's adobe yeah no fuck adobe i will give you the dll file myself i'm kidding <laughs> it's kind of funny like i pirated photoshop just to make memes and shit <laughs> that's basically it <laughs> Well, you don't even need to pirate FL Studio because they have a really nice demo. Like the demo is actually really good. Yeah, their their demo is actually fantastic. The only thing is you can't reopen save files. Yeah. But like, yeah, at that point, you can probably like keep it open, make tracks, and then pull enough money together to buy the thing. Yeah, it has a demo. It's completely free. But yeah, no, I do agree. I think FL Studio is really good about like tracking people that like I, I've I've heard some scary stories. I actually okay, yeah, yeah. Like I, I think I remember seeing a tutorial where some guy actually talked about how he got caught. <laughs> and, like, how do you open up a fucking tutorial with? Yeah, so anyway, guys, last time I talked about FL Studio and where to get it, uh, they kind of emailed me to take down the video. <laughs> and I was like, damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hilarious, but... Very tense music. Go away. Sad music. Uh, this one's okay. Well, if this is called Blizzard Island... Eh? 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 Well, fuck, we could've streamed more Sonic 06. Yeah, I was thinking that too. <laughs> it's not too late. Guess the fuck it is, I've been at it for 50 minutes. Alright, I forgot you're like anal about... The game having to only be the stream and nothing else. Yeah, I like being organized. <laughs> Is the bot not on? Mm, I have not seen it in chat, so it probably turned itself off. You bastard. Here, let me look. Yeah, it turned itself off. You stupid bitch. Okay, try it now. Is it gonna work now? Uh. Oh, wait. Now it should work, I think. There you are. Why does it say dollar? Guys, I'm not a shill, I promise. This one is, actually. I didn't actually see the Pokemon Direct, but, um... I think we should refrain from talking about it, because... Spoilers and all that crap. I personally don't care, but Retro... Yes, he, um... He's very anal about it. What? That's right. Sorry. You're, um, you're okay now? Yeah. Okay. 
My friend just told me the PS3 is old enough to vote. I hate that. Wow, I hate that a lot. Wait, is the age to vote 16 in Scotland? Oh, it's 16 in Scotland. Okay, that makes sense. Over here, it's 18. Yeah, if we're... Okay, let me see. The PlayStation 2 can drink. And so can the Xbox. And GameCube. Yeah, it's funny. I, f <laughs> I feel like just recently I became the age to drink, at least here in the US. <laughs> but... Then three years pass, and I didn't drink, like, nearly as much as I thought I would have since I turned 21. If anything, I drank more before 21 than I did now. like I did it regularly or anything. It was more like an occasional family got beers out. I will take a beer. Beer's gross, by the way. But, eh. You kind of get past the taste because then you get this funny, uh, funny feeling and you start laughing at everything. I mean, it depends on the person. Some people, they're sad. Some people are angry. But me, I just giggle at everything. Like, if you put a drink in my hand, and I start, you know, I start drinking that drink, I will just start laughing at everything you say. So if you want to feel like you're funny, just give me a drink, and I'll, I will make you feel like you're the most hilarious person on the planet. Test stuff up LMAO baby rage baby rage baby rage <laughs> Baby rage baby rage baby rage Oh yeah you should change the text to speech to Keith Keith Or no sorry Brian How do I do that? Um we go to the donation tab and then open text to speech settings Alert box? Donations? Um, yeah. Uh, open text to speech? Yeah. Voice? Yeah. English? Great Brit? Uh, save? Now we test the donation. This is a test donation for $64. You're not British. Did you just say? Yeah, I thought I did. Let's try it again. This is a test donation for $24. Now no, she's just... British. I want the male British voice. Let's try the Russian one. It might take a bit to update, actually. This is a test donation for thirty dollars sha What? <laughs> How about the Spanish one? So you're gonna sound very um exotic. 
ZSIS от S Donation for 35 долларов США 00. No, shut up, lady. I'm... No. This is a test donation for tres dólares. <laughs> tres dólares. <laughs> you should keep that one. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> This is a test donation for tres dólares. <laughs> oh. Baby rage, baby rage, baby rage, baby rage. L O L. I like What? this one. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I like that one. I wish I could just make the text of speech lady say whatever I want. Like, just... Baby rich. <laughs> Baby rich. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a lol, Omega lol. No, God. And it just doxed your name to me. Thank you, PayPal. Very cool. I don't worry about it. I'm not gonna do anything with that information. <laughs> It's just weird that it does that. Yeah, sorry, Sally. How did you... I'm just kidding. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? Huh? It was like you slammed your head against a glass wall. I'm slouching. Oh. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. You're not okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Miles had a hair, one of your hairs stuck in his mouth. Ew. I'm sorry. The only way that I could stop that from happening is if I just shaved my head. Is that what you want from me? I just wish you wouldn't fucking eat your hair, because that was disgusting, that one thing that happened that I'm not going to talk about in detail. Okay. You, you remember, thing. right? Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. I just... I'm surprised you're refraining from talking about it. Miles ate Kamex's hair, and... Okay, TMI warning. I am in your walls, amigo. <laughs> okay, I like this one. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Miles ate Kamex's hair, and he tried to take a dumpy. And the hair got stuck, like, on him. So he freaked out and ran across the apartment with some shit and hair out of... attached to his butthole. I had to, like, pull the hair out. <laughs> It was awful. He freaked out and, like, ran into my door and, like, smeared some shit on the wall. Yeah, so like, I think Retro called me to his room and I was like, yeah, what's up? And then I saw, it was really dark, so I just saw like, a gash on the door. And I was like, wait, is that blood? He's like, nope, that's shit. I'm like, how? Like, <laughs> how is that possible? And then he told me that a piece of his own shit was attached. No, not Retro, the, the cat. A piece of the cat's shit was attached to... A hair sticking out of his ass. It was Just imagine Miles sprinting to my door like, Rrrr! and then I heard a loud bang too. So like he ran into it, poor guy. But yeah. thankfully that hasn't happened since then. There are plenty of times where Miles did something incredibly stupid that he probably hurt himself from. Like I think there was, <laughs> there was one time as a kitten, right? I think I was just walking to the bathroom and he had the audacity to step right in front of me and when I lifted my leg to, you know, to take another step, I flung him against the wall. <laughs> he's such an idiot. I just, I'm glad he's okay, but like, Jesus Christ. Millas la mierda, bebe. Pretty much, yeah. Well, there you go. If you want a donation, just change the voice. I got local British Florida man voice now on mine. What do you mean, British Florida man? That's just you. Exactly. Alright. Oh, uh, how about another time where, uh, Miles tried to jump into a dirty clothes bin, 
but he kind of missed and just slammed his stomach against the edge of the bin. So we just kind of heard like a <laughs> when he <laughs> fell in. La chancla está viniendo if you dox my name. Thank you for the donation, <laughs> Nice name, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not gonna tell it anyway. What is it, Hernandez? I'm just kidding. No. I know, it's a joke. Ramirez! Ramirez! That's gonna be so Get on top name. of that Burger Town or whatever it's called. What? What's the name of the restaurant in Call of Duty? The Burger King ripoff? I don't know. I think it's Burger Town. I think it was Burger Town, actually. Let me see. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it, yeah, it, I think it was Burger Town. Did he actually say that in the game? What? Get on top of that Burger Town? <laughs> Something like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, because remember you have to camp uh, at a Burger Town in Modern Warfare 2 for like I didn't, 15 I didn't minutes. Play that one. Oh, yeah, you actually camp at a fast food place. Retro Modern Warfare 2 came out when I was 12. Those would be fun games to play. They're very short too. Yeah, they're like six hours each, I think. I do like one per I'm stream. at Burger King with my Burger Queen. <laughs> Can I get a large fry? Yeah, it's retro's. Uh... Oh. Can he play too? Yeah, you can play too. Thank you for the five. Hey. I. I was gonna say that was Retro's Floral Fury remix, but the balls thing came in, so it just sounded like I said that was Retro's balls. I know. My, my, my music is balls. I'm sorry. Esta es la cuenta de PayPal de mi mamá. Nunca sabrás mi nombre real. I, estás bien. Yo no quiero ver, uh, saber eso. Look, I don't know what you guys are saying, but keep that money coming. I'm just kidding. What? It's a dollar. <laughs> yeah, it's 30 cents for me. <laughs> <laughs> you can get like a Tootsie Roll back in 1950 with that money. You could still get like a single piece of candy with that money. Where? I guess a quarter from a machine. My eyes. My eyes. My eyes. Mis ojos. Coño, pero qué? Oh, those those dings or emails you're getting for the yeah, donations, huh? Yeah, déjame tranquilo. International Clown Week is celebrated every August 1st to 7th to recognize the efforts clowns across the world put just to make people laugh. Happy International Clown Week! Get retro and yourself something from the dollar menu at McDonald's. Honestly, <laughs> we... <laughs> what? <laughs> that just sounds like my grandma. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, she wouldn't do that for us, that's for sure. <laughs> oh. All right, buddy. How long is this remix? Jesus Christ. Oh. It's almost four minutes. Her grandma's homophobic. I'm a woman? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. His grandma's homophobic. Also, yes, retro. I will. Sigue dejando que fluya el dinero. <laughs> that fucking language swap. <laughs> Please I'm never cool. put a foxtail next to my character ever again. Nah, I'm del I'm deleting that message. That's disgusting. What? Oh. No. 
How do I delete stuff? <laughs> D don't accidentally ban them. I don't know how to remove messages. How <laughs> do I get rid of this? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not gonna like... I can purge for one second. Does that work? <laughs> Is it gone? You d <laughs> yes, it's gone. Why? Okay, good. Okay, Retro's an asshole. <laughs> what? I don't like... Do, do not combine Retro with... Furries. Disgusting. I'm just teasing. Me and Kanx literally, uh... Did some stuff with the fox. Huh? You know the one. Oh, I <laughs> didn't put the pop up down. No. Oh, Miss Darcy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she had massive boobs. Look, okay. Look, some some foxes are are all right. And they're all Just women. <laughs> and they're all women. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, get rid of the cursor on the... Hmm. Like this? No. <laughs> no, stupid. Uh, hmm. I wish I could... <sighs> Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna be in a void for a second, because I need to... Yeah, I need to do that. Okay, we're good now. Now you can't see my cursor. What a good song. Okay, um, so I kind of want to do something. I don't know what. Oh no, you're giant. You get small now. Small. 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 There. Who's Ma? <laughs> I'm kidding. Ma! Fine. You know what we're gonna do? <gasps> hmm. We're gonna play, um. Robly Wobly. Oh boy. Return of the Brain Rot. What are you playing? Your old Brain Rot. Speed soon? I guess so. Have fun. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I can't. I've pretty much done everything that I can in that game. Okay. There's a lot of new stuff for you to check out, though. I'm probably gonna get bored after five minutes, though, because that's how my brain works. Let's go! Also, you can press tab to remove that menu on the right. I'll remove your menu on the right. Wow. So, yeah, uh, the funny thing about when you collect these little thingies... It just kind of reminds me of Sonic and the Secret Rings because I, I think it's just straight out of that, out of that game. I don't know if it's the first game that has this sound effect, but yeah. Oh no no! no. If, if I need to become retro, I gotta gain like twice the weight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why are you angry? Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm just as thin as you, though. <laughs> Look at my VTuber. Idiot. <laughs> Not when you transform. Look who's talking. Isolation. 
Well, all the weight goes to my tits. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> he has a massive chest, that's hilarious. Wait, I can... I can do that? Since when? Since forever. I didn't know that. Why is this game so bright? <laughs> Kids. Like, it feels like the highlights are just blown out. Look at my stupid little tail while I home on things. <laughs> it looks like a hook. <laughs> Maybe Ace is a hooker. Hooker. I said it first. First. <laughs> <laughs> Anxiety is the secret ingredient to chest size. Man, why don't I have titties then? <laughs> Where are my giant jugs? Yeah, just be anxious and stressed and eat a lot like me and then there you go. Free titties. Free titties? <laughs> Yep. It's not free if you're paying for the food to make them big. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Hmm. Um, my moobs are bigger than most of my female friends. <laughs> oh my god. That's true, I had this realization recently. Well, because a lot of our female friends are flat-chested. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So, if they ever need advice, they just, they know who to call. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no, 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 no. We respect breasts of all sizes here. Ace, el personaje más aterrador de Dead by Daylight. I understand that. Something about Dead by Daylight. I'm guessing the news that that dropped today, or I have, yeah, that's the thing. I don't know because I don't I don't play Dead by Dead by Midlight. He doesn't play scary games and he doesn't play multiplayer games. He's the worst of both worlds. I play multiplayer games. When's the last time you played a multiplayer game? That wasn't Fall Guys. Well, you're a picky bitch who doesn't like any game, so like. What are you talking about? I have played Roblox. Left I have for played Dead Roblox. Yeah, which is a multiplayer game. I played Roblox, Left 4 Dead 2, Fall Guys. Um, what other brain rot do we get into? Those are all mid, though. <laughs> You're mid. <laughs> you wish. No, I don't. You're above average, sweetie. Yeah, that's what I strive for. I'm not joking. Like, even at school, I'm just like, as long as I'm above average, I don't care. He doesn't play MMOs either, but we might actually check out the new WoW expansion together, because... MMOs? That is, that is one of the few MMOs he's actually, like, played with me, so... No, guys. We don't play MMOs. We shower. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Phasmophobia is another one. I played a bit of Phasmophobia. It was okay. The thing about a lot of these games is that they're very samey when it comes to gameplay. Every single time, like... <clears throat> and the thing is, I also have a friend group that is not satisfied until you played like four or five hours of the same game, and I just can't do that. The thing is that like, you can bail at any time, no one's forcing you to stay. Right, sorry. My ex account. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, yeah. It's, uh, uh, true. <laughs> but... Can we play as dragons yet? Apparently it's coming out at the end of the year. There's no set release date just yet. Damn. So they, they might delay it, but we'll see. I really hope it's a case of, like, the worgen, where you can just be the werewolf the entire time and the human part's optional. Because if it's just, like, a temporary ability, that would suck. Retro's also really mean because, like, he doesn't count the games I actually enjoy. <laughs> well, Gran Turismo's single player. You can't play that with you. It's not like you would be interested to play it anyway. Uh, I mean... Well, we tried, like, Forza. It was okay. I remember, I remember like, bitching about someone who didn't like while playing that game. That was fun. 
<laughs> we only played it like once or twice together. And then we tried five, and I don't know. There's something about five. Five I just didn't get about. the same way. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, what about the times we used to play Call of Duty all the time together? Like two gay <laughs> We don't play. We got bored of the Call of Duty games. We tried to buy each one that came out each year and we'd yeah, stop I, after I like a few matches and last, never touch it again. The last one we actually played for a long time was World War II, which was 2017 or something like that. But after that, we kept buying the Call of Duties and like just playing two matches and then getting bored. It just did not hit anymore. Yeah. I think... Maybe I'm just multiplayered out because of Overwatch, because I've been playing that for like five years. <laughs> but yeah, no. Nah. I mean, that's the thing, right? I mean, Fall Guys is okay, but it, it's kind of boring to me. I don't know. I can only really stomach a few matches of Fall Guys before I get bored. Um, Left 4 Dead 2, I'm just not a fan of, of it anymore. Not even because of the bad memories associated with it, but mainly just because it's another one of those games that's very samey. Once you've played all the campaigns, you've kind of played them all. I mean, or once you've played all the campaigns, like even mods and custom maps tend to feel pretty much the same as well. So that's another pretty samey game that I'm just like whatever about. Um, Roblox, I mean, yeah, it's whatever, it's, it's not awful. Minecraft is another one of those games where I just build my house and then get bored. <laughs> Terraria, I've, I've almost fallen asleep playing Terraria. I would go as far to say as like you dislike Terraria. Like, not hate it, but... I wouldn't say I dislike it. Like, what, what would make you say that? Oh, uh, you just never seen, it's like... Like, those games are kind of neutron. Terraria kind of always struck me as a game you, like, lean below neutral on. Yeah, but what makes you say that? Um, just like... You not even really giving it, like, a chance. And just not really... In like, when you did once, you didn't really enjoy it. Compared to, like, Left 4 Dead, where... You did play it for a bit. Okay, the thing about ter Terraria, I have to say it correctly, it was that, like, when you play with people who know their shit, it gets really boring really quickly, because they, they tend to do everything for you. And you're basically just being dragged along instead of actually contributing, and I think that's what made it boring for me. Oh yeah, nothing's worse. It's, I think this happened with Don't Starve as well. Yep. Nothing's worse than kind of being carried in a multiplayer game where you kind of just sit there and like all your friends know what they're doing. And you're just kind of... They, they, like, they try to be nice and like hand you like a nice sword or whatever and you're just kind of like, oh thanks, but... What's the point if I'm not progressing myself? Yeah, I kind of just feel like I'm there for the ride instead of actually contributing. And games like Terraria and Minecraft kind of suck when people, like, even if it's just one person, they go on ahead without you and, like, kill the wall of flesh or, you know, the ender dragon, and then it's just like, well, what's the point? Remember when we had a, a Camtro Minecraft world, and apparently one of the members got so angry at, like, for, after an argument they had with someone else, that they just killed the ender dragon on their own? Oh yeah, that, that's probably one of the reasons why I never made a Retropolis Minecraft server again. <laughs> it was Looking like back. such a weird... <laughs> okay. Yeah, the way of griefing the Retropolis Minecraft server was they went to go kill the Ender Dragon by themselves. Because they were like mad that like something happened to their area or some shit. I don't remember what, what it was. I thought it was just like an argument they had with someone. They were German, so... Uh, that part I did remember. <laughs> German, the, the language that where everything, every word sounds like you're angry. Um, it depends. This was 2016, so could you respawn the Ender Dragon in 2016? I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's why everyone was kind of annoyed by that.
But yeah, I mean, a Minecraft server... It's a fun idea in concept, but when you actually play Minecraft, you're like, wow, this game is actually boring as shit. I'm I'd love to have a community or tropolis server, but like, the thing is, you know, you need like moderators for that as well. And like, my mods already have enough shit to deal with. God, yeah, and it's your server. <laughs> I guess there's plugins and stuff that like, you know, will prevent you from like destroying other people's place blocks. But yeah, like, yeah it's just, They're definitely I don't know how to do all that shit. Um, it usually, like, I'm pretty sure it just comes in, like, a package when when you're doing those services that host, um, servers and stuff. I'm pretty sure they just kind of do it all for you in that regard. You're just like, oh, I want this plugin and that plugin, and then they're like, okay, there you go. Mm. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they've made, they probably made it even easier since the last time I tried to use one of those. <clears throat> If you're interested, you can play the drag through customization while well, in. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'll probably just wait for the thing to come out and then check it out in game. That's gonna be a fun seventy-five bucks for God <laughs> the months for like and the expansion for like a week of flag until you max out level and then not much for you to do. <laughs> like it depends. Like with most MMOs, like it really depends on the player. But I feel like most people. They kind of play until they max out their, you know, the new level cap, and then after that, you know, even though there's still a ton of stuff to do, that's, that's usually where, like, I feel like the main player base stops playing. Like, okay, <clears throat> something that I did like about MMOs was <clears throat> it was such a chill-out kind of thing to play, right? You could just lean back on your chair and just press buttons without even thinking. It was nice. Until you found out that the person that you were playing with shit talk how you play MMOs <laughs> later on. Not me, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't retro. But I used to play with someone who was like really anal about how I played MMOs with them. And it, it was so weird because it was like MMOs are not my thing, but I played it for them. I went out of my way to try something new for them, and then they just kind of they just did that, and it was like what. <laughs> Am I reading that right? 1400 days of playtime? Huh? King Mel has 1400 days of playtime on World of Warcraft? Yeah. That is like... That's almost five years. No way. Like, you're counting hours too, right? You're not, not just like... Oh, like four or five hours a day. You mean like actual raw playtime? Okay, let me see. Okay, Google. How many hours is 1,400 days? 1,400 days is equivalent to 33,600 hours. What the fuck, dude? That sounds doable over like 15 years. It does, but holy shit. Like, I've played like TF2 for 5,000 hours and I thought that was a lot. Same with RuneScape. I think RuneScape's probably at like 200 days or something. But Jesus. And also like, I have a lot of WoW playtime too because uh, I tried to make it a goal to max out every single race and class combination possible. I think I remember Obviously, that. yeah. Obviously I gave up after like the fifth one because it was just repeating the same dungeons over and over again it's a lot. But man, that's crazy. Yeah, sometimes I kind of wish I had a game like that, that like I keep coming back over the years. But I don't think I... Re I mean, most of them are single player. Those games that I keep coming back to now that I think about it. But I'll never have like a record of how long I've actually played said games. For me, there's games that I can go back to, but I know how I handle certain games so I purposely don't get back into them yet until I know I'm in a better spot was, what and by that about? well like I I want to play RuneScape again because uh, you know they've added a lot of quests since since I last played it and they added like a new skill because I maxed out all my skills on that game but I know if I were to get back into it right now stuff like Verse Retro would never get finished so it's more of like a I want to, but I'm choosing not to just at the moment until 
I'm in a better spot with productivity. Are you hungry, by the way? I had Subway a few hours ago, but I guess I can do an early dinner. Are you hungry? <laughs> yes. Are you able to eat now? <laughs> yes. I guess by the time the food would get here, that's when you'd be a little more hungry, too. Yeah, if you've been playing for 17 years, then yeah, I guess uh, that many hours in WoW isn't too far-fetched. I forget how old WoW is sometimes. Yeah, it's like, what, 2004? Something, Something like, like that. that. Yeah, I used to... I got into WoW, like, right before Warlords of Draenor, so I've only been into it since... for... Seven, eight years? But... No, that can't my... be right, because... I started with, uh... I started in 2016, that was six years ago. Yeah, I started before you. Well, I'm saying that it had to be, like, longer than that, because you, you've been playing since... Like, at least a couple years before I did, right? Mmm... Pretty sure I played a year before I met you. Okay. Because I played with, uh... I don't know the names of these fucking things. That's when I met a uh, lovely crow lady, we RP'd, and then she gifted me WoW. <laughs> so yes, Retro Lost is Virginia to a crow lady. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> I don't she... do that anymore, by the way, <laughs> just to clarify. She gifted you WoW after sex. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, bro. <laughs> That's <laughs> so funny when you think about it. And we don't we don't talk anymore either because I think the plan was like she gifted it to me and like we were gonna play together, but she got like super busy and she's like, Oh you can just go on without me. And I was like, Okay. And so I did and I picked a Worgen Hunter and he's been my main ever since. Cause he's hunters are very good for soloing. I don't know what Ace's first was. <laughs> I think you, yours is not a great experience, if I remember correctly. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was a. The same Crowley. <laughs> that same. would be hilarious. No, no, Ace's first experience. I mean, I obviously don't count it because it's, it's an RP and it's weird, but like... Basically, someone wanted to ERP with me, but I was like, no, I don't really want to. And they just kept typing, like, e like RP commands. When I was like, no, I don't... I said I don't want to do it, so... Um, yeah, that was non-consensual. I tried an ERP with somebody because they insisted that I would like the kink that they wanted to RP about. Um, I despise that kink now with a burning passion because of that <laughs> session. And I ne I did not talk to that guy at all after that, so. You were trying to say at all or ever again at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I haven't ERP'd since I was like, god, 21. And even then, it wasn't like a lot at 21. It was like a couple times. And then before that, I think around like 18, I ERP'd or something with some Steam people. Steam. But yeah, it wasn't. ERP on Steam, that's hilarious. Oh, yeah, because that was before like Discord and Skype were taking off. Yeah, wait, no, not before Skype. Well, it was around the same time. Skype. But has... you know, there were like communities and stuff and Steam. Skype has been big since like 2011. Yeah. I, I, I had remember a fucking... <laughs> using Skype since like 2010, actually. You guys want to hear how original I was? I ha I roleplayed as a Kolava and a Superior. Ah, uh, why would you say that on stream? <laughs> Not on my stream. When I was man. like, when I was like 18. Uh. So. Yeah, I was one of those. Yeah, I'm. It doesn't. It doesn't like. I don't care for it anymore. I mean, if it if that's your thing, then go for it. But. Yeah, have fun, man. Just, you know. Or woman. Or neither. 
have fun. <laughs> I guess the the less or the thing that you um, you know just anyone has to realize when it comes to that kind of thing is that there's a time and place, and yeah. a lot of people don't fucking get that. And that's where people start to get weirded out. It's not because of the action. I mean, some people are assholes and they get weirded out by the action. But most other people are mainly weirded out by the fact that some people don't understand the concept of time and place. And that's kind of... yeah. In fact, you know, interestingly enough, the whole time and place thing... Um, so there was one person who messaged me on my After Dark, and they- don't worry, this is not gonna be like, not safe for- like, this is not gonna be like, very, um, detailed, I guess, whatever. So the person was like, hey, so, um, do you like both art not safe for work and real life not safe for work? And I was like, yeah. And I was wondering where they were going with this. And then, the next question from this person was, Do you like it when people send you nudes? And I'm like, what? what? So I'm guessing this person just came into my DMs and wanted to send nudes to me or something. This was recent, right? Yeah, this is very recent. So I was like, you know, no, not from people I don't know. Luckily, On top they, of you being taken. On top of me being taken, yeah. Luckily, they, they took the hint and just kind of was like, okay, sorry to bother you. But like... I don't know, the fact that you did that from- in the first place is kind of weird to me, <laughs> like... I mean, kudos to, you know, for not being weird after I said no, but like... Still... Still weird I got asked in the first place. Yeah... It, it, like, we have each other in our bios, and they asked on Twitter, and it's just like... What's their- what's their- what's their Twitter handle? I just want to talk to them. No, no, Retro, it's not- it's No, okay. I just want to no, talk no, to them. It's okay. I didn't get any news Just from them. Just want to talk to them. It's okay. Just want to talk to them. It's okay. Now hold the fuck up. What's your body count in hell? Huh? Your body count. Uh... Sorry, you're old. How many people have you had sex with? <laughs> In hell. Look. Hmm. Sakram's establishment has hmm. very good offers. I go. I like the two for one special on Thursdays. Okay. And why is it different? It helps when I relieve do it? stress. It helps relieve stress when you're not around. I get angry and like I can't. It's a good stress reliever. Cheese. What? Well, why is it different when I do it? What do you mean? Why is it different when I do it? Because you cool me down. No, I'm, no, I mean, wh when I do the two-for-one special. Oh. You come in and destroy the establishment, and Sakuruma has to rebuild again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because you're not doing it with demons. You're doing it with, like, overworld people. How Disgusting overworlders. What the hell? It's a, it's a loud in hell. You can't do that in <laughs> a regular world. That's cheating. <laughs> Well, that's convenient for you. <laughs> what the fuck? Then come on down to hell. I'll show you. I'll show you uh, some some people. Yeah, I, I guess the unexpected lore just came out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry as shit. I want I want a food. Hold on. I just got a limited offer. Um, for only seven ninety nine ninety nine, you can get. An RTX 3080. <laughs> That's actually decent. What the fuck? Wait. Also, um, Neo drew us something. Here, I put it in DMs. Huh? Mm, let's see. <laughs> Ace is a dentist now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what. Ah, it's huge. Hold on. Oh, your big canvases. There you go. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Neo. What the hell do you want to eat? Actually, I shouldn't um, ask you, because you're... Never mind. I'm feeling like... 
it depends though because you know it's a little on the pricier side but i was feeling like salmon or steak or something are you fucking serious what do you want let's just get boston market <laughs> um i could do boston market it's been a while thank you we can save I'll order a if you want to keep playing Okay, um, I'm trying to figure out if I want the pot pie, or- Ah, oh, I want that pot pie. Give me a pot pie. <laughs> it comes with a cornbread, right? It should. Fuck yeah, I want that pot pie. Pot pie. I gotta sneeze. My first chicken pot pie was from Boston Market, and I'm let me tell you, it's probably the best possible choice I could have had for a first pot pie. Really? I think I like KFC's a little bit more. Uh, KFC's good, but it's it ain't no damn Boston Market. I'm sorry. I might get a pot pie too because uh, when we try to go get one at KFC, they didn't have it. Can you show retro wow link? Yeah, I don't see why not. I'll send it on Discord. I mean... Wow, that's crazy. Huh? <clears throat> oh, he just sent me all his characters in playtime and stuff. Oh. I see you are a rogue main. Nice. My secondary was a rogue. I had a female rogue organ, and I liked her very much. That's insane, man. 1,400 days. I'm, a. Uh, Definitely a hunter main. Cause Emerald the solo. sucks. Can you go to World 4 yet? I don't know. Where's World 4? Follows dirt path. Okay. I need five rebirths. I need two more. Damn. That's still pretty ways away. Pretty. Like you. Pretty. Oh. Never mind. Alright, stop being sad. I guess we're both doing pot pies. Fuck yeah! Two pot pie. Sorry, the anticipation of a pot pie made me drool a little bit. <laughs> I'm hungry! I, okay. Look, Sonic Forces has a good soundtrack, but what the fuck is that main synth they always use? It's so screechy and gross. Archer Dawn. I don't remember what uh, realm I was on. Let me just join one that my the crow lady was on. But. What's your favorite food? I know Retro's is pasta. Retro is my favorite food. Your favorite food? Yeah. New York pizza? Yeah, hey, you got it. I love New York style pizza. Mac and cheese. Oh, I love mac and cheese. Especially baked mac and cheese. Oh my god, it's so good. I need to try that New Jersey type pizza because they say it's better than New York and I I, I have my doubts. Will be I the think judgment. I've had New Jersey pizza because my dad lived in New Jersey for a bit. That's disgusting. <laughs> I didn't taste the difference, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, they keep saying that they have the better pizza. They don't... <laughs> you know, I had a history teacher that called New Jersey the armpit of America. <laughs> I, I don't know, it feels like New Jersey and New York just hate each other. <laughs> Either that, or it's some kind of, like, weird sibling rivalry. Oh, let's go. The regular mashed potatoes is zero calories, according to DoorDash. Uh, dude, you're getting nothing. Bro. I can eat this as much as I want. <laughs> Easy. Alright, no desserts or drinks. 
I mean, if I'm being honest, the whole New Jersey versus New York thing is more, more like New Jersey versus New York City. <laughs> because, like, the rest of New York probably doesn't give a shit. It's weird, pizza's kind of fallen off for me over the years. I used to really love it. It was, like, my second favorite food, but... I don't know, I haven't... I haven't eaten some pizza in recent years that I was just like, wow! Maybe I'm just not in the right wow. location. Yeah, I don't know why my voice did that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you were anticipating me saying something, were you? I was hoping you wouldn't, but you did, and then I got self-conscious, so that's fine. What? That's fine. What do you want for dessert? Or drinks? Or nothing? <laughs> or nothing. <laughs> Can I get a slice of apple pie? I love their apple pies. I kind of want to try one, too. Yeah, they're they're really good. I just like their crust in general, like with the pot pie yeah. and the apple pie. It's it tastes really good. All right, well, here, there goes our donation money. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Okay. All right, this one's almost fifty-fifty since we got the same stuff. Meanie. Ooh, we can do express. Yeah. What? That's extra money, you asshole. That's just three dollars. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Wait. Huh? Oh, we got a promo code apparently. Thirty percent off orders over twenty-five. Not sure why, but I'll take it. And save nine bucks. So Cam, you owe me. I haven't had CC's in, like, I don't think I ever had CC's, actually. Give me... 15 bucks. Yes, sir. Do you like being called sir? Yes, sir. What? Hey, you can't do that to me. I'm younger <laughs> than you. There's something about this music that's like... <laughs> Okay, when I when I first heard this music, yeah, you know, in the in this game, I, I for some reason I pictured like like lobby music in a tropical hotel. I don't know why. <laughs> so I just picture when I when I hear this song, I just for some reason I just picture a middle aged man in like a Hawaiian shirt and sandals. Just standing at a lobby, like, waiting. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Camix, this is so funny. Huh? You have to show this on stream. <laughs> what? Here. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Bones. Very cool. <laughs> Just dead on the pavement. Them, like her walking away. That's so funny. <laughs> I slapped a child. <laughs> <laughs> also, damn, she thick. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah. All right, let's get that. Let's get that out of the way. I'm glad that big girl appreciation is more normalized now. Yeah. I slapped a child. When's the last time I ever slapped somebody? Uh, me last night. Just kidding. I can be taken in two different ways. Yeah, your butt doesn't count, buddy. Butty. 
I'm such a fat ass. I'm kind of excited to have a pot pie now. I'm just excited because we didn't. That they were out on. I wanted one like a few days ago at KFC. <laughs> oh wait, I think I remember that. Yeah. You. Yeah. I had to like figure out something last second because you're at the drive-through. Then I remember they had the famous bowls, which are not bad. It's weird how, depending on your location, certain, like, chain restaurants will taste better than other places. Yep. Like, the famous bowls in Colorado are so fucking salty, I couldn't eat them anymore. So I was a little nervous trying one here, but I had it, and it's really good. They... I'm very mad that they don't have the hot and spicy here. They had it in or, or McDonald's. They, they had it in fucking um, Texas and Colorado. I just hate regional. Like, I, I get it like across countries, but like states, why? Also, fuck DoorDash for like limiting certain foods because I I love Arby's, but only when I can get like the jalapeno poppers and the mozz sticks. They don't have those on DoorDash for some reason. Ooh, I don't know Arby. why. <laughs> what is that? The Mr. Krabs with the Arby's. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I actually, like, hit somebody. I don't think I've ever hit somebody before in my life. Pussy! Okay. Yeah, I like to avoid confrontation as much as possible. And I still make enemies. enemies. Yeah, people just kind of get mad at you existing at this point. And like, I don't want to victimize myself too, because I hate that shit. Like, I've done some really stupid shit. But at the same time, it's like, what did I do to you personally? <laughs> That's for you to like, want this much hate. Okay, so, the thing about Retro is that a lot of, like... I'm not here to victimize him either, or just be like, oh, poor him, whatever. Because, I mean, we can all agree that he's done something, some stupid fucking shit in the past. But the thing is... Let it go. Like, let it the fuck go. I I've seen, like, posts here or there where people are like, wasn't he the one that had a meltdown because his mod got, like, flagged for not safe work? And it's like, okay, but did he harm anybody directly with that? Or did you just get mad because he got mad? Like, it just doesn't seem to make any sense. My favorite were the, uh, it should have been handled in private pet asses that were complaining about that when I was trying to spread awareness to a leaker in the community. That was weird to me because, like, how could you have handled that privately? You, you just tell the leaker, hey, please stop leaking my mod? Like, And it wasn't just my mod, too. It was... <laughs> if, was it, if it... If it was just my mod, then yeah, maybe I could have DM'd, but I literally went to, like, three other mod makers Two of them were like, um, yeah, I didn't say he could show that to other people in DMs. So, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Yeah. The, the thing is, the Friday Night Funkin' community doesn't seem to understand what nuance is. They always tend to kind of just have a blanket statement for every situation possible. I've seen, like, fucking grooming cases get hit with the, it should have been handled in private. How the fuck could you handle someone being groomed in private? You just get, get a slap in the wrist in DMs? No! You call them out so that other people can be aware. <laughs> like, how the fuck do you handle that in private? I'm sorry, I don't like... ...stating, like, you know... I don't like having strong opinions because, you know, there could be a slight chance that a person's wrong and then you end up looking like an idiot, but this is something I can be firm on. You can't handle that type of shit in private. Yeah. Like, oh my god. And yeah, no, a lot of it really is just kids giving opinions on stuff that they don't fully understand. And, like, it's okay if you don't fully understand something, 
But don't start talking about it like you know shit. Like... <laughs> Anyway, um, that aside, yeah, Retro's kind of a dummy, but he's a harmless dummy. I'm a hummy. He hums a lot. I know it can be kind of confusing with, like, Canon Retro and, like, <laughs> Stream Retro. <laughs> and F and F retro, like boyfriend retro. It's like my boyfriend retro. Yeah. I have had thought like it's too late to do it now, honestly. But like I have had thoughts of like, you know, oh maybe I should like just make retro only just the character in the community, uh, not the community, sorry, but in the universe, and like make a new one that's more of a Sona for myself. But, like, I've had him for so long, and I'm just so connected to him that it would be very impossible for me to do that. So the best thing I can do is, like, almost have two different versions of Retro, one that's in-universe and one that's out. I feel like most people have the common sense to understand that Retro and FNF isn't the same as Retro everywhere else. Yeah. But, I mean, we are dealing with a bunch of... 14 year old, so I guess <laughs> that kind of goes out the window. Well, there's an extra layer to that, too, because it's like even the F and F versions of my characters are slightly different. Because, you know, the whole like Saku bonus dialogue, it's not like in character for at all. Thanks for but the now reset. people, Now people think that, you know, she is and that she's stupid and wants sex all the time, and obviously partially my fault. But I did clarify it was non-canon. So, yeah, it's weird. There's like three different canons. There's like the real life canon, where it's just like this is my, this is what I use to represent myself online. That's it. And how I act is how he acts because it's it's what I'm using. There's the official in-universe canon where Retro's more like serious and grumpy. And then there's like the FNF silly canon where like, you know, Gremlin BF retro and, you know, even that retro, like the regular tall retro and FNF, like in the bonus dialogue, he's like, he's kind of silly. And it's like, canonically, I don't think he'd really act that way. So there's like a separate story now? I, I have this whole chart. Um, let me find it. I can link to it. Get this fucking reward out of my face. <laughs> Put your reward out. I don't want that. When do I rebirth? Is it a level 100 or something? Check uh, menu and then click on rebirth. It'll tell you. 125? Are you kidding me? How do you do this shit? Yeah, looking back, I don't know. I still can't believe they removed me. That was, uh, messed. No, I don't want it. Anyways, like, I don't I don't know if you want to show this on screen or not, but, uh, just to kind of better explain things. Hold on. Why is it? Oh my god. Computer, please. One sec. Yeah, you were at 600 rebirths. Yeah, I don't know what happened. They just wiped a ton of people. Okay. And I looked on Google and couldn't find anything about it. Is that so true? yeah, waste all that time and money. Anyways, here's the thing. Oh yeah, this chart. Yeah. Alright guys, we're gonna discuss Retro's lore on my screen. On my screen. <clears throat> what is canon? Canon. Finish ref designs. Not even, because those need to be changed. <laughs> the so ref long, sheet yeah. trivia. That also needs to be changed. <laughs> Interactions outside of FNF. When did that ever happen? Porn? No <laughs> kidding. No. Just like comics I haven't done yet. Oh, okay. Environments you see in FNF. 
Oh, phase one and two. Okay. Non-canon. Free play cover song dialogue. Fuzzy feeling. Ectogasm. Sakuroma's personality in part one. Person that? Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> phase two retro taunting you in Ecto's but Oh my god. <laughs> F and F canon. BF and GF visiting hell. Retro guarding and being easily irritable. Sakuroma appearing in background. Stuff collapsing in phase two. Okay. So there, there's your guide. So yeah. I know it's really fucking confusing. I feel like... Did you take out the whole, like, retro taunting you thing because a lot of people got offended by it? Huh? Well, you know how retro taunts you in ectospasm? For losing? Yeah. How is that non-canon? Because Phase 2 Retro, canonically, I kind of always saw him as, like, a print, like a hulking beast. I don't think he'd be like, Hoo -hoo, your mom, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like That makes it funnier, <laughs> but okay, I see what you mean. <laughs> I always call, I always kind of saw the canon in Universe Retro as more of, like, almost kind of stoic and serious. Uh-huh. I guess maybe edgy as well if you want to go that that wording. But that's the thing with FNF, right? Like it's all about like fucking boyfriend trying to sing so he can fuck his girlfriend. Like I'm gonna have fun with it. But people unfortunately kind of took that and applied it to my real life self. And wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, people just kind of you know they take what they see in the mod and. Like, oh, wow, he, like, you know, he's, he's kind of an asshole. And, like, oh, he's, he gets so angry all the time. It's like, no, I don't. Uh, he's going to get angry if you're an annoying prick. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to get angry now. Oh, now you're making me really angry. Okay, transform, big boy. Do it. Oh, never mind. That's how he, that's the noise he makes when he canonically transforms. That's disgusting. Also, I'm kind of small. Can you like make me a little bigger? That's too bad, buddy. You're on my stream. <laughs> Alright, fine. There you go. Thank you. Alright, I've had enough of Sonic. Especially when I was told how long it takes to rebirth. Stupid game. <laughs> Sound like the turtle. <laughs> God, the fucking turtles having sex. Such a weird noise. Eh. You, you can stop that. I was just want, I was just gonna say it once. Calm down. Oh. Oh. Let's play laundry zip. Oh god, don't get back. Just play your Gran Turismo. No, I'm not playing that on stream. Everyone's gonna leave. People have already left. <laughs> From Sonic Speed Sim. Have they? What do you got to lose? Oh, they have. Well, those 10 people are gay. 25. No, it was not. We were at like 100. How is me si Look, people, people like, um, people, I got DM'd by somebody, it completely threw me off. <laughs> People like direct interaction with the, the stream viewer. So, it's, or sorry, the streamer. So as soon as the streamer is doing something else and they know that they can't get your attention as easily, they will bail. I have noticed it every time I've gone from talking to chat directly to streaming a game. Well, we're back up to 85, so shut up. And now we're at zero. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, how do you play this? Um, okay. Here's what you do. You grab clothes. You put those clothes in a washing machine. You wait. 
This one says 54 seconds. We're gonna be here a while. And then you just wait. You know, the funny thing is, right, with, with people who do want attention and stuff, when you finally give them attention, they have nothing to say. I, like, there were plenty of times, it, it, it's it's a kid thing, you know, when, when you're kind of like, they're trying to get your attention, they're like, hey, 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 and then you're like, hey, what, what, what do you want? And they're like, I got nothing to say. Then fuck off! I <laughs> like. What do you? <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm talking to Candy about the leaderboard removal, and like, it's just speculation. You grab this, and then you throw it in there. But uh, he thinks that because of how quickly I was rising on the leaderboard, I might have been. They might have confused me with like a exploiter and removed me. Oh, that sucks. Is there any way you could like? talk to somebody about it oh wait I did wait I did use an auto clicker do you think that has oh, something to do with it you know that might be I'm sure they can detect that I wouldn't doubt that it's easy to detect when you're using an auto clicker because of the predictable nature of it You know what? Fair. If that's the reason why I got removed, then I just didn't think they'd care. Well, it's not like a hundred clicks in two seconds. It's more so, I think he had it so that it clicks once every 15 minutes or something so that it doesn't kick him out for inactivity. And he was AFKing at like Hilltop or something. Yeah. So that was what I think that's what they removed you for, so technically, I, I would say it is kind of fair. Yeah. Da, 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 da. So like this, I'll take the L on that one, then. This game isn't like, you know, it's not going to knock your socks off, but it was definitely there when I was sad and needed something to do <laughs> to just occupy my brain. I mean, it's Laundry Sim, I would assume it'd knock your socks off. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and get out of my house. No. What do you mean, no? I do wish you could just donate money to other people, because I, I don't know what to do with this hundred million coins. Go pick up those shiny clothes. It'll give you more money. At the very least, they didn't ban me from the game, so I can still like collect all the characters and stuff that comes out. But hey, if I if I needed a reason to quit doing that stuff, like the AFK method stuff, um, it's even more so incentivized now. I literally have no reason to do that. Yeah, stupid. Apparently it's a Discord server, so maybe if I wanted to, I could, like, Submit try to, to join. Me. Yeah. Hey, um, is it because I'm... It's because you're a fat, sweaty nerd. <laughs> I don't know we why... We you because you're, you're almost 29 and playing a Roblox game. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, I used to stumble across... YouTubers who would play Roblox and stuff and they were like older than me Like that that's their whole that's their whole like um, hustle that they just play Roblox on YouTube And part of me like I remember being kind of judgmental before being like why are you doing that? <laughs> like why are you playing that? But you know what? It's fun. I'm not gonna be an asshole. It's fun. It's only okay when I do it. I'm kidding. Oh, to put the clothes in, you have to like tap. It's it's a little awkward on mobile. You just you kind of have to tap the washing machine. Yeah, you basically tap everything on mobile.
Oh yeah, this airdrop, it has a lot of very valuable stuff and you want to grab those. What do you have right now? Are those clean? I can't tell. <laughs> but <laughs> if they're clean, you, you throw them down this chute here. But if they're not clean... Oh, what? Did you get soft locked? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh no. Uh, where's your? Oh no, that's not yours. Okay, which one's yours? I can't tell. Wait. <laughs> you. You haven't occupied a space yet. Okay, you need to uh, pick this. I don't, have you occupied a space yet? I don't think you have. You have to like tap something to get to get started. The airdrop. Okay, even more menacing is when um the nuke happens. Every 10,000 clothes, there's a fucking nuke that goes off, and you're just still washing clothes. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> my pet? Oh, here's my pet. Cat. I have a level 5 cat. Ugh. <sighs> But yeah, no, I like this game because it's like, it's kind of relaxing in a way. What's my Roblox name? Uh, Let's see. Is it just Retro Spectre? No, I think it's like Retro X Spectre or something. Ew! People take my fucking name. Fuck whoever took my multiverse's name. It's a I hate using the retrospector. It's a it's a pretty common combination of words. <laughs> Retrospect is literally in the fucking dictionary. Retro X Specter. How did I manage to rebirth? I rebirthed twice. <laughs> I okay. <laughs> So, I was a complete loser. Basically what happened was, I would play this game in the background of doing other things. So I would just, it's like the most brainless game. So I'm just out here, brainlessly throwing stuff in the washer and then... Before I knew it, I had three trillion coins. <laughs> Oh, you did? Wait, where are you? Where's your thing? Which one is... What? Oh, are you not here anymore? Wait, okay, get this one. <laughs> tap on the... Tap on the... Uh... How does it look with... Or do you walk into an aura? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think because these are mobile controls and I don't remember how that works. Okay, that was a long verification process. <sighs> oh no, Retro, you sent... Uh, Invite to your private server to everyone in your friends list. I'm just kidding. Oh no. Boobies. Are you still. Okay, okay. I wish I could just rejoin the lobby so that I could tell you how to occupy a space. <laughs> Cause like, okay, how does this... Uh... Alright, I'm, I'm gonna... 
here, 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 I could just join a friend. So I'm gonna leave and then I'll rejoin just so that I can tell you how to do this. Uh, there you are, okay. I think I can just join you. I'm glad it doesn't show all that. All right. Okay, so how does this work? Okay, so like right here, it says touch the claim. So you just walk up to this ring here. Yeah, you don't, you don't see a ring? And you tap it, right? Because in PC, you just walk into it. Do you press it? I don't know. <laughs> Why is it not working for you? <coughs> you should be able to just join bones because there is like one spot left, I think. Yes, more brainless brain rot so technically not brain rot because it's very brainless <sighs> but yeah you know it's funny like it's gonna sound kind of dumb but like I've spent a lot of nights just being sad while playing this is the, the funny upbeat music in the background while I'm emotionally feeling like shit is just kind of funny to think about. I have two rebirths. I'm so sorry. It's like, I'm just... My brain is like a cloud of sadness. But you just hear this music in the background. Give me that one. Okay, it works now. Good. Now you can waste your time like I have. Oh yeah, I can show you how many hours I have on this game. I'm gonna regret it, but I can show you. Alright, well, I'm gonna submit a ticket. 64 so, hours. There's nothing. 64 hours on this one Roblox game. What? Oh, right, I have to pick up all these. All these nuts? You can all. I mean, I, I think it depends on the game itself, though. You can't just, um. I don't think there's a universal way to check how many hours. This game tells you, though. Oh yeah, Retro's submitting a ticket because he got taken off the leaderboard in Sonic Speed Sim, so he just wants to figure out what's going on with that. Like, he doesn't know if they got- if he got mistaken for a hacker, or if he was actually taken off because... <laughs> if he was hacking, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Someone, uh... So I submitted a ticket and got put into a private channel with the mods, and the person pinged me and says, Hello, how can I help you? And then they said, right after in caps, Also, I'm a huge fan! <laughs> oh my god. I like how in all your profile pictures you're like this smug, confident monster, but like right here, I'm gonna just blow him up so you guys can see. Look how sad he is. And nervous. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Get your ass back down there. <laughs> I 
I can't hide. Oh. No, I'm not gonna get sleepy now. I gotta eat. I also feel weirdly bloated. I think I'm on my period or something. I'm kidding. <laughs> I do feel weirdly bloated though, but I'm not on my period, I can't get those. <laughs> I don't know either, I, honestly, a lot of times, I, okay, you know what, you know how some people uh, they, when, when they're drawing, they kind of put, like, a long YouTube video in the background just for, like, background noise or whatever. They don't even give a shit about the topic. They're just doing it so that they can have something in the background. Th this was basically that for me. Like, I just put on a few YouTube videos and just played away. My brain just turns off and bliss. It's just, it's just nice. What do the boosts do? Um, boosts. I I bought all of them, so I don't remember. <laughs> they they just cost a few robux though, so they don't really. How much does it cost to get like all of them? It was like what, fifteen bucks or something? But uh, okay. So, one of them doubles your basket capacity. I think another one also doubles the amount of clothes you get with one click. So, like, let's say, like, right now you only get one piece of clothing when you click on... I get two because I got the upgrade. So, it, it essentially turns one piece of clothing into two. Oh, here's the nuke. Here's what I was talking about. Someone's typing. They said, hello, I noticed I was removed from the leaderboards for Sonic Speed Sim. I assumed it was a bug and that it'd be re-added eventually, but I never was. I think I got removed around the Tails engineering update. Is there any particular reason why I was removed and would it be possible to re it back? Thank you. And here it so. is. You get extra points for washing nuclear clothing. So they're typing, you said? Okay, it's just a bug. Woo. Oh, nice. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you were able to actually figure that out. Okay. That makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the music gets kind of... The music slows down a little bit, and then you hear this... This, like constant chord being played over it. It's kind of interesting. Damn, I hope that's not like a common thing. I'm just like an echo chamber or shouting into the echo chamber with that. Hmm? I'm sure like other people have like submitted tickets about it and you know, they have to just keep saying it's a bug. I just, yeah, I wouldn't waste their time. Do you want the influencer role, by the way? Hell yeah! <laughs> Alright, time to get back into Sonic oh, Speed Oh no, stuff. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> One of them said I listen to Spectral every night before going to bed. What? <laughs> oh, that's flattering. Are they are they trying to have nightmares? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> what the fuck? The perfect bedtime song. I love it when Zerktro sings me to sleep. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, mom. <laughs> Good night, Dennis. Dennis. Oh, the choir from Spectral starts playing. It's just muffled. And green lighting coming from the room. Oh. 
Okay, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> <laughs> you just fall asleep. And it's just you dream about Zorktro standing over you, just being angry. Okay. Just cursing Ooh. you out. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't like worry too much about this because it is just a Roblox game mode. But when you put as much time, effort, and money <clears throat> into this, you, you you know it's. Hey, dude, you should you really know? get that cough checked out. <clears throat> you know. Please stop drinking Mountain Spew. It's not good for you. Wow, they were very nice. That, that was crazy. I wonder if they get like really bad tickets sometimes because you know it's a lot of kids. Why are you bad? Me? Oh, you were using hacks. Yeah, but like you bad me. And then he says like the N word or something. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Remember that that's kind of like the very common child thing to do. When you don't get your way, just start saying slurs, I guess. <laughs> that was cool. That went... That went much more smoother than I even thought it could have. That happened, like, instantly. <laughs> yeah. This will happen with the Zertro plushie. True. I, I, I need to get mine. I can't wait to get mine. I'm so excited for the prototype. Okay, I will say they made his head bigger when they changed his snout, and it almost looks comical now. I don't know why they did that. I'm a little bummed because I did prefer the proportions on the older one. Funko Pop looking at. But the problem with the older one is his neck fluff was more like a beard. So imagine if the neck fluff on my chest was like right under my chin spikes. That's what it looked like. So that kind of got. Yeah, that kind of got lost in the plushy like, blueprint translation, so... I asked them to change it, and it looks it looks fine now, it's part of his neck, but... They blew up his head for some reason. <laughs> he also has, like, a better snout, so, I mean, like, yeah, it's more chibi now, but that's not a bad thing. He's still gonna be larger than the average Funko Pop. Funko. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Fucking Kamek. The what average makeshift plushy. You said Funko Pop! <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so the funny thing about the mace plushies, by the way, um, they were waiting on me to approve something for 15 days. So, so now the process is back on track. <laughs> Gosh. I, I, like, what happens, like, if it, you take too long, I wonder? It got buried into my emails, because I have so much fucking garbage in my email. Um... Yeah. So, like, one day I was just really concerned, and I just messaged the guys at Makeshift, and I was like, Hey, so, like, did I do everything right? Because, it, you know, it's been taking a while. He's like, oh yeah, we sent you an email in, like, July... July... 12th or something. I was like, what? And then I checked the date, and there it was. Just them asking me a question about Mace's design and shit. And I'm like, oh. Okay. Well, fuck. So, yeah, um, your wallets are gonna break because I'm sure Zertro's plushie is gonna be up at the same time as Mace. You better start delivering them newspapers, because I didn't put this shit out for no reason. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, it's it's interesting. I think uh, my update will be out before yours this time around. Oh, rip IPU. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, rip MIPU. My PU. <laughs> My PU. 
I, I would have just said Meepu, but okay. I, I Meepu! Guess. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yes. More like Meepu. This Roblox game has such good music, too. Such good copyrighted music. I think. Um... Your f I think on Twi Twitch is less strict about copyrighted music than YouTube, I think. Not by a whole lot. But I don't think your VOD will get muted... ...with these songs. Funny thing, actually, about Twitch, with, like, copyright and shit. Um... I remember once I played Need for Speed, uh, what was it? Uh, Need for Speed Rivals? Yeah, the, the 2013 one that came with the PS4 and or not what well, came out around the same time. Um so yeah, there's a VOD from 2013 that is just completely muted because the the in-game soundtrack gave me copyright issues. That makes a lot of fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could go on a rant to how bullshit copyright laws are with music, but we'll be here all day. So I'm, and I'm also not a law student. But I did have to study a little bit of music law with my degree. And it's fucking stupid, all of it. I don't understand this shit. I hate it here. I'm starting to get tired. They are still at the restaurant. They texted me and said it was full when they arrived, so. Which is weird, because how, how is a restaurant busy at 5 p.m.? Dinner rush. At 5 p.m.? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't get that either, Mel. Like, they- he literally did that, and then now he's got it on Nintendo Switch. Both Deltrune and Undertale. I- I guess they could be copyright infringement because it's, uh... Huh, I never thought about that. Are sound fonts copyrighted? Can that be a thing? Depends, I guess. Well, like, I don't know, because you don't see anyone getting copyrighted for, like... Because it would... It, oh, would it be considered, like, sampling? Probably. Huh. Alright, any law nerds in here? <laughs> I'm kidding. <sighs> A lot of laws <laughs> right there. <laughs> No, no more yawning. I need to sleep later. I need to sleep later than this. Funny number watching us. <laughs> That's it. No more Roblox. Better call law. My favorite show. No more fucking Roblox. Get out of here, stupid. Roblox. You're tiny. Haha. <laughs> I know this is another moment where I'm thinking out loud, but I think I'm gonna just start streaming whatever I feel like streaming. Local streamer understands what streaming is, finally. <laughs> I don't know, like, if I want to play Oblivion one day, I just want to play Oblivion. Why do I have to dedicate a whole series to it? I think that's the beauty of streaming. Yeah, literally no one was forcing you to make everything a series. That was- It just, was all chat. You were just being an idiot. It's always chat's fault whenever I have these realizations. It's cause chat pressured me. See what pisses uh, me off about retro is that these realizations, these epiphanies, 
are always the most basic shit that you should know from the beginning <laughs> every time. Wait, I'm supposed to wipe my ass after I take a shit? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's Chad's fault. <laughs> oh, you think I'm good at Gator Tears? You should see Atrocian. Yeah, Man he... can put on a show. He always tricks me and then I have sex with him. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. He's talking about Atrocian, not me. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to make everything a series. You're not a YouTuber. Well, you are a YouTuber, but that's beside the point. Are you okay? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> You're just staring into the into the chat, there, buddy. I was looking on Discord server. Mm -hmm. Who is she? Um, Garnet? What? I was talking about how... I, I was making a joke about beating Star with my Garnet. Like, you know, play in multiverses. Oh. But I don't know if I'm Garnet main. I've only- I've literally only played each character once. <laughs> You can just tell him yourself now. I think he's here. What happened? Oh. Star, you're a nerd. Is this music loud? It looks loud. Iron Giant's fun, but I can t I can see how he'd be easily comboable just because he's so there fucking you. huge. He's got some cool gimmicks. I think my least favorite... There... Finn is weird. I don't like how Finn attacks with his sword. It's really odd. And then, like... He's got this whole, like, shop system. It's... It's okay, but it's just, like... I don't know. There was one that was worse than Finn for me. Was it Taz? No. There was like a really gimmicky character. What is a gimmicky character in that regard? <laughs> Sorry. I got chills. No, LeBron's fine. He was, he was fun. What? <laughs> huh? LeBron? Yeah, LeBron James is in multiverses. Huh? Space Jam. Oh. Space Jam. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's yeah, it was kind of a shocker. He got revealed like a couple weeks ago. I must be in like the other side of the universe when it comes to this kind of discussion because I... <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he got revealed along with Rick and Morty. Oh, you know what? I think I thought it was Fortnite. Oh. I thought he got Fair. turned into Fortnite or something. You know what? The art style is kind of similar. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Gimmicks are... it's Gimmick is like another word for... Like a quirk. Like a... Ow. Like the Nintendo Wii's gimmick was motion controls with a remote. The Wii's gimmick was the gamepad. That's what a gimmick is. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like a lot of people have used gimmick in such a negative way constantly that it always kind of has a negative connotation now. Yeah, who, who was the character I hated the most? Me. No. Relax. 
sexy music. LeBron James. Velma was kind of weird. <laughs> My glasses. <laughs> My glasses. <laughs> I can't see without my glasses. Steven wasn't bad. There was a character that was just like, what the fuck is this? I have to look through the roster. Like this, like that, like this, this, like that. Um, wait, Rick and Morty are separate characters? Oh, wow. I thought they were going to be like together. That's cool. Iron Giant was fun, Taz was fun, Velma was eh. Um, Arya Stark was okay. Batman was fun, Bugs was really fun. Did not like Finn. Garnet was really fun. Harley Quinn was alright. Jake's was okay. Rain Dog, I'm not too crazy about Rain Dog. Shaggy was okay, Steven was okay. Didn't care much for Superman. Tom and Jerry is so fucking cool. I think Tom and Jerry has the most personality out of any of the characters. Who? Tom and Jerry. Oh yeah, Tom and Jerry. I like Tom and Jerry. Well, what's really cool about Tom and Jerry in the game, they're not even trying to fight the other characters. They're just hitting each other. <laughs> like they're trying to hit each other and they end up hitting the other characters in the process. It's so cool. It was like my favorite. Um personality in that game. I used to play a PS1 game of Tom and Jerry where the whole thing was just a two-player game where you beat the shit out of each other and like set traps and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it called? Sorry, I was typing something. Oh, it's just called House Trap. Okay. Yeah, man. What a fun game that was. I almost want to randomly check it out right now. Which game? Uh, House Trap. It's a Tom and Jerry PS1 game. Hmm. Yeah, I used to I used to play that, but I didn't understand it. All I did was set traps and. I don't remember much of it. Um, I think Wonder Woman was weird. It, might, it must have been Finn then. I think Finn was the worst one for me. The way you attack with a sword, he kind of like holds it out. And then like you have to like press a different button to attack after you hold it down. It, it's weird. Hmm. Sorry. I, every time I type, it, it when I type numbers, it kind of makes Ace do things. Like if I type one, he uh, he gets sad. If I type two, he blushes. If I type three, he gets surprised. And if I type four, he just breathes ice uh, or cold air, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm trying to do something very legal. <clears throat> They're still at the restaurant, by the way. That shit gonna be cold. Where's my... Okay, let's go extract this very legal zip file in there, and let's legally find a Tom and Jerry house trap, um, ISO. <laughs> Your ISP monitors what files you are downloading. <laughs> it's 
It's a PS1 game. They're not going to arrest me. Oh, shit. You're kidding. FBI, open up. <laughs> it's 18 terabytes of porn. I don't even have 18 terabytes in my computer. Wait, do I? Wait, how many terabytes do I have? I have... Um... Okay. <clears throat> Two terabytes is my main drive. Then there's half a terabyte here, so, so two and a half, three, three, four, that's seven, seven plus another four, it's 11, 12 plus eight, I have 20 terabytes. Okay, so I do have more than 18, okay, well. <laughs> it wasn't me, officer. You're just fat. More. Is it this one? I don't want that. I have this much space because music stuff takes up a lot of space. A lot. Like... I have... A plugin that has like samples for you know sounds of like a saxophone and a trombone you know, like recordings basically they're high quality recordings and just for those instruments alone that takes up 30 gigabytes so now imagine me having hundreds of those different instruments a lot <laughs> it's a lot So, yeah, I am kind of gay. We know. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this shit out because I haven't used Cool Rom in a long time. Man, fuck you. I'm just going to go find it somewhere else. You're pissing me off. You're buzzing me off. How the fuck did I memorize that? Hmm. How about this one? Why does it says clone? Well, time to download a virus. Let's go! <laughs> On a scale of 1 to gay. 0. 0.5. Wait, no, that puts me off the scale. Fuck. <laughs> I can't- I can't math. As you can tell, I'm not good at math. Okay, point five. You know what? <coughs> why is my- Why is my throat doing that thing? Wait, that's not what I meant. Hold on. Hey, yo. Shut the fuck up. Ah. Give me the damn bios and stop being a bitch. Is it gonna work now? Uh, is it the Q file? Is that what I need to use? Fizzin picked up. Never mind. So I thought I was gonna play the Tom and Jerry game, but it doesn't seem like. I know how to do it. Right, because PS1 games are weird. For some reason, they have, like, different tracks or something. They have, like, multiple files. I don't know how to work that shit. Uh, I'll have to figure it out later. Remember when we tried to play that Jimmy Neutron game and it just crashed halfway through? Did I play the GameCube version or the PS2 version? Pretty sure I played the GameCube version, because usually Dolphin is more stable, but... Yeah, for some reason, I think that ROM was... or that... Yeah, that ROM was like a... Uh, something. Anyway, uh, we're about to eat 
food. Depending. I've been kind of like in pain. Like my stomach's just been kind of... So, uh, what I could do if I really want to play that game again, what I could do is I could actually buy the physical game itself off like eBay or something and then play it on my actual PS2 and then capture it. But, yeah. That's the other option. Yeah, I... I'm okay? I... I don't know. It's like my stomach's kind of in pain. It's not like nausea or anything. It's just pain. Oh. And it's probably tied to the bloating feeling that I've been feeling all day. Not sure. He got a fart. God, I wish. Hmm? I wish I have to fart. It's because of the damn books. <laughs> Inside joke. You, you wouldn't get it, Retro, because you're not cool enough. <laughs> what the hell was that? Mm. I can do that too. I don't think it was. I was having trouble making the legitimate copy work. <laughs> Alright, let's go to eBay. Let's hope it doesn't dox my shit. Alright. Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies PS2. Nine bucks? One minute left? Wait, people are bidding on this shit? One minute left, go! 500! Shit! <laughs> God, that would suck. Imagine you meant to type $5, but you accidentally typed 500. Oh no, someone actually drew art of Ace farting, and I... ...wish I didn't see that. Yeah. At least he had icy farts? No. Oh. He's your portable air conditioner, I guess. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, he has icy breath, though. the most threatening thing I've ever gotten. Okay. Mm. Here, I'll take a picture of it and then I'll show. So, on my watch, it gives me a notification every time someone follows me on Twitter. And some of y'all have the most menacing fucking profile pictures. Here. Uh... Save image. Cool, it's a JPEG. Yeah, let me... This is what I see on... What I, I'm seeing on my wrist right now. Oh, hold on. That's my keyboard. There. <laughs> it's like... Oh my god! <laughs> is someone gonna murder me? <laughs> That's probably just some person's drawing, but like... <laughs> why is it all red? But yeah, so like when when someone follows me, their profile picture shows up on my watch, and <laughs> it's just funny that happens. Anyway, um, hi Hydra. I don't know if you still go by Hydra now. I <laughs> just.
Okay, Jake, got it. <laughs> so how how's that how's that food retro? Five to eight minutes. You're five to eight minutes. At least with Popeyes, it's like condensed, so the heat should stay trapped. Retro. Hmm. Look, I love you, but you can warm food up. Hmm. Yeah, there's this phenomenal thing we have called an air fryer you put the pot air fry my Popeye huh mm -hmm. yeah I'm just gonna air fry my Popeye take this hee hee take this hee hee <laughs> thank you for the for the bits just yeah cause the thing is the pot pie is in like a foil container so you don't want to put that in the microwave so you put it in the air fryer instead. No, no, no. Pot pie. Like a chicken pot pie. We both got them from Boston Market. Do you know how fucking good Popeye's pot pie would be if they made one? That'd actually be amazing. <laughs> Especially if you get the option for it to be like spicy. Oh, I'm, my mouth's starting to water thinking about it. Damn. <laughs> I don't think I've ever reheated air fried pizza. Wait, air fried pizza <laughs> reheated. <laughs> hmm. You know what First I mean? First time I reheated pizza in the air fryer was magical. I'm never going back to microwave pizza. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just a tiny oven. Popeye's pot pie, Popeye's pot pie, Popeye's pot pie, Popeye's pot pie, Popeye. <laughs> it just sounds like I'm saying the same word over again. Just get a smaller pizza, dumbass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Did you pay me for uh, Boston Market, by the way? Yes, don't beat me up. Hey. Sorry. Why are you making those noises? Only make those in bed. I'm sorry. Someone blocked you for being a garnet main. <laughs> I'm kidding. What? <laughs> I'm not even a garnet main. I've played each character once. Fucking garnet main. Gains. McPizza? What would McDonald's pizza taste like? Does that even exist? It probably exists in some country. I know mixed spaghetti exists. We visited the largest McDonald's in the US and ate pizza, pasta, and a Belgian waffle. Where the fuck is that? America's la largest McDonald's in Orlando serves custom pizza. We live there. We gotta go to there. Okay. Largest McDonald's. Question, does Cake have different voice lines than Wait Jake? Fuck. It's in Orlando! What is? 
The McDonald's that serves pizza. Really? <laughs> what? Let's go. The largest McDonald's. It's only like 24 minutes away from our house. <laughs> Wait, I need to check this in Street View. And dox us. Holy shit, this place is huge. What the fuck? This is apparently the largest McDonald's in the US. And it's just here, in our town. Of course, I got two American flags in there. Can I go inside? I want to see what this inside looks like. The world's largest entertainment McDonald's in play of place. It's literally just this, huh? It's called Epic McD. <laughs> what? That explains a lot. Okay. Well, anyway. The smallest McDonald's? Let's see. Smallest McDonald's in the world. The McHive is the world's smallest McDonald's, and it's not even fit for humans. The McHive is a miniature McDonald's replica. Now oh, shut the fuck up. Of course. Instead of a cash register fryer and seating inside, it's just rows and rows of honeycombs meant for bees. The project grew out of... It's a... It's, it's in Sweden. Well, that's not really... We can't go inside! So yeah, it's just a McDonald's replica, but it's a hive where they keep bees in. Oh, here's here's one. Of course it's in Japan. <laughs> the smallest McDonald's restaurant is only 492 square feet in Tokyo, Japan. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. It's it's literally just like a <laughs> That's f How do they cook anything in there? It's so tiny. <laughs> After two burgers, they're out of stock. Oh my god. I don't know what they're doing. They're just like... Oh, wait, no. I see them now. They're driving down... The... Shit. Street. This McDonald's is inside of an airplane, I think. This McDonald's restaurant in Taupo, New Zealand is located inside a decommissioned plane. Stop downloading web pages, you stupid bitch. I want the picture. Sorry, I got mad. Uh, hold on. There you go. There, there's the plain McDonald's. Meow. Open up. Here comes the plane. Come on. Open up. Fine. You don't get the fucking plane. Is there an underwater McDonald's? Uh, wait, let me see. The McDonald's- I would say a slur. Hey! Sorry. Get out of my stream. You annoyed me! The McDonald's location in Downey, California is the oldest McDonald's restaurant that still looks as it did when it first opened. Oh, that's cool. It didn't didn't even say how old it was. This McDonald's restaurant in um, Hangzhou, China 
is located inside a 90-year-old villa that once housed a, a former Taiwanese leader. That's a fancy fucking McDonald's. The gym in my town literally used to have a McDonald's in it. I didn't know you lived in America. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh yeah, the Miku McDonald's <laughs> in uh, Sedona, Arizona. The one, <laughs> it's it's not actually like Miku McDonald's. It's just that for some reason their logo is turquoise instead of yellow. Ah, <laughs> I just pulled a hair by accident. I hate having curly hair. Here, I'll show you Miku Donalds. There's a goddamn Miku Donalds. <laughs> the building has to adhere to Sedona's strict guidelines on building design and signage. While the bright yellow color of the majority McDonald's signs might work in other parts of the country, the turquoise color chosen by Sedona, Arizona location blends much better with the surrounding landscape. Sedona also has strict restrictions on how tall buildings and signage can be, which is why the famous arches are placed lower than at m most other McDonald's restaurants. Sorry, uh, Dasher called us and he speaks Spanish, so I had to quickly run over to Cam's room and hand it off to him. Anyways, hi, I'm here. So, uh, what were we talking about? Miku Donalds? McDonald's at Guantanamo Bay. Hey man, even even prisoners gotta eat sometimes. Wait, can you guys even hear me? Oh, you can. That's okay, good. Do you want a pot pie, Bones? Can you get a pot pie? Yeah, I'm guessing... I'm guessing possibly more gate issues. Honestly, what's the point of community gates? Are they really supposed to make us feel safer or like secluded? Because like, 
a robber can literally just like hop over it if they're that dedicated i don't understand i honestly kind of hate gated communities the last apartment we had also had a gate but it was like open all the time <laughs> like sometimes it'd be closed but most of the time it's just open it's just it's a lot more convenient fucking rich white people Oh, I feel so safe. I, I'm in a gated community. Like, what's the point when the gate fucking goes out? Like, once or twice a week. It is. It's pointless seclusion. Because I could understand it if we were, like, completely secure. If it was, like, whoa, it's... We are, like, completely secluded, like... There are barbed wires on the fence all around us. And like, like basically like a prison. If it was as like security proof as a prison, yeah, maybe maybe then I can feel safe. But not when it's like this little cute, like, oh look at that. Oh, there's a door you can just use right there, but right 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 next to the gate that you can open. Pets, I guess, but like some pets can just jump the fence. We have a short fence behind us that just goes to a lake. <laughs> so it's like... Anyways, who's here? I'll be right back. That's a P way. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm here, chat. going to eat my food now. Let me guess, pecan pancake. little drip of gravy they give me. They give me like a little gravy cup and it I shit you not, it was like two drips of gravy. What? Nothing dear. The food's delicious. I heard two drips of gravy when I came back. You kidding? Express my ass. Oh, rip. Yeah, I'm starting to think Express is more like, uh, if there's another order, yours takes priority. It's just a gamble. 
It is still hot though. Yeah. The beauty of aluminum foil. In this case though, it wasn't the Dasher's fault because they were waiting at the restaurant, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't give us our biscuits. Biscuits? Rolls or whatever. The cornbread? cornbread? Yeah. It's in the box. The pot pie box? Yes. Mine wasn't. Oh. Did you just get one? Yeah. It's lame. Oh well, I'll be fine. I have mashed potatoes. Do you want my... I'm kidding. Oh. Yeah, I'm starting to realize too. Chad doesn't really care like what game is being played unless it's like FNF. What? I was trying to think of like, because you know I'm always thinking of like series to play and stuff, but it's like there's not really a point because most people are there for the streamer, not the game. That kind of applies to all streamers. Is this another revelation, Retro? Same revelation. Don't you, my DLC tonight. Don't you fucking diss Jet Set Radio. Hmm. Mario Kart DLC at midnight. Oh damn, I didn't ask. I'm kidding. What the fuck? Coming, Dino. Bye, Dino. Who wants to beat my ass at Mario Kart today? Not retro. What? Because you suck. I'm kidding. What the fuck? Breading a little more. Yeah. I'm leaving a one star review. Oh, the Fuck misery. this Boston market. Huh? Oh, the misery. Thanks for the memory or whatever. Fine, maybe I like green beans. You didn't before? <laughs> wow, well, I, I never really 
had them outside of mixed vegetables. Mm. They're kind of mid. I'm mid? I'm... You said you're kind of mid. So they're kind of mid. Oh. Lore for Taeyang. He's hot. That's all the lore. He's a big sexy dragon man. Well, basically his lore was something like, uh, hey, music, get your butt to a different... Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, his lore is that he was a soldier during the during the era where Taiwan was gaining their independence from uh, China. And so, it was about 18 years old in the year 1912 when the war started. So he was like, right at the age to be enlisted in the army for it. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. It's the time period for him. Um... As for why he's in the modern world world now, no idea. I'll have to figure that out. That's an Assassin's Creed remix. I love the breading of pot pie. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Even though this one's a little overcooked. Ace traveled back in time, saw how hot he was, and then dragged him to the modern world. Just kidding. Okay, uh, there is kind of a reason, like, okay, so, the reason why I wanted to have all these characters bring t them to, like, the modern world is to, for them to be an escape from their own, um, from their own worlds, because the thing is, I feel like people would kind of raise eyebrows if I give every single one of my characters a tragic backstory. But it kind of just makes sense for Ace to bring them into the modern world if they all had tragic backstories, right? Like, for example, Asim gets framed in for doing something awful in his community. He gets exiled, and then Ace finds him and then brings him to the modern world so that he can actually live his life without, you know, people hunting him down like that. And Elise, let's say she actually gets outed as a woman in medicine and then people in her community think she's a witch so they try to like hunt her down and then ace is her escape stuff something like that but i felt like people would be like why does every one of your characters have a tragic tra tragic backstory but then like if they didn't then they wouldn't really have a reason to leave right so it's all just escape you could have like one or two of them just like wanting to join because it sounds exciting. I'll probably do that for Jackie. Because I did give her a backstory, but I feel like that would not fly if that backstory actually happened. Or if, if I actually told that backstory. You weren't kidding, this apple pie slaps. I told you. Good club. A woman practicing medicine? It's a witch. Burn her. 
Make fried chicken. <laughs> Actually, see me downing water. <laughs> I'm going to put this away. I'll be right back again. <clears throat> for a food coma. <laughs> I usually sleep around this time, so I'm glad to see that I'm staying up. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, what was I saying? More lore characters. Farting. Yay, two months. XD. No. Here's your two months. Thank you. has a tragic backstory. <laughs> kidding. I'm gonna make all of my characters suffer. All my characters have tragic backstories and the only way to make them heal is by filling them with Mountain Spew. From Zerk Drill. Huh. You haven't healed the male yet. Huh? You haven't healed any of the males yet. Oh yeah, they're a low priority. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> what if I want to get healed? You're already healed. What do you mean? You're beautiful to so you are, sweetie. Mm hmm Oh. I heard what you said to hive mind when you were angry. What'd I say? You said that I only had a face that a mother could love. What? Yeah. No, I didn't. You said you said he has a face that only a mother could love to hive mine, and she like laughed so hard that she fell over on a chair. I'm kidding. You must have been tricked by envy. Yeah, possibly. They love seeing us argue. Obvious deciding factor? <clears throat> Look for green. If, it, if, if if any of the sins are looking fishy and they're green, is that bastard. What? Does he possess people now? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Can he possess me? Like, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Did you watch my remix? Yeah, sweetheart. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I listened the fuck out of it. <gasps> my ears, all right? My ears. My eyes. My eyes. Yeah, because I'm ugly. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did that come from? You want to be ugly? I mean, look at me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm scared. 
Alright, it's your stream now. No way, come back. I don't know how to stream, I've never streamed before in my life. Yeah, I know. What? <laughs> no, the... What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Are you ugly on purpose? <laughs> I forgot about that video. Okay, um, so yeah, uh, you know, I only really have like four, there's also a Sven, he's just there, he's just a, just a pothead that plays the bass, he's my pothead that plays the bass, did I show you guys this recent art commission I got, it's some, um, Ace is holding an ice cream cone and it's Insatian Watson. They they hang out sometimes. That but she's she's kind of a fat ass. <laughs> okay. So yeah, she's uh she's trying to eat his ice cream cone. Wait a minute. I okay. want to eat his ass. Um, I'd like to see that. Huh? I'd I'd like to see that. <clears throat> I didn't say anything. What? Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything. Sure, buddy. You didn't say anything, huh? Yeah. How much does a Game Boy Color go for on eBay? Let's see. Game Boy Color. You know, I'm just gonna say it's not all the all the sins of long tongues. Can you save that for your streams? Get out of here. What do you mean? A hundred and twenty dollars. That's a pretty big range. Well, can you stop growling on my stream? I'm kidding. No. Okay, well, how do you guys enjoy watching stuff on your phones? Like, I'm not, I didn't even say that in like a judgy tone. I actually, I'm actually wondering because phone screens are so small. <laughs> but I guess nowadays phones have gotten way bigger than they used to. Don't you guys have phones? <clears throat> Do you like hold it up with your hand? Doesn't it get heavy after a while? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got one of those thingies that like can hold your phone over you when you're lying in bed. It's kind of nice when you just want to relax in bed all day. And then cry. I only use my phone for videos when I'm shitting. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's incredible how much we can do with our phones now. I just sent somebody an invoice through my phone. Because they wanted a music commission, and I was like, okay, here. I didn't know I can do that. <clears throat> yeah, there's someone out there whose phone is their only computing device in their entire life. That's cool.
Because it's kind of like you have everything you need in your pocket. That, that's that's just a cool concept to me. It's like your best camera, your best music player, your best web browser, at least when you're outside. It can do so many things, but I just barely use it for much more than checking social media, I guess, and taking the occasional picture. And it's also crazy, too, that, like, how expensive phones have gotten. But it's mainly, I think it's mainly because it became such a big part of everyone's lives that it's almost like as an important purchase as something like a car or something. I would even say it's more important. It's like phones have been so useful. What's with this heroic ass music while I'm talking about phones? Get out of here. Ah right, yes, let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach, each. Yeah, owning a car isn't all it's cracked up to me, because... Unless you... Unless you have something newer, you're gonna be going to the mechanic a lot. <laughs> and we live in a country that is... Pretty much built around cars, so it's... Almost necessary in everywhere except, like, New York, I guess. In New York, you're just shooting yourself in the foot if you have a car. Oh my god, noisy. <laughs> that typo. <laughs> I want a new cat. Mine sucks. <laughs> wow, that's mean. <laughs> Jeez. I want a new cat. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I got Miles for the first couple months. Oof. He was an asshole. <laughs> We almost got rid of him instead of me with how he treated her. Yeah, he always... He would always, like, beat up on Mia, which was the second cat that we got. And we were like, wow, what an asshole. What if we got rid of him? But ultimately, we decided to give Mia to a friend because she would keep meowing at our doors at night. She really loved attention, but like, you know, it wasn't really something that we wanted to put a cat through to just be constantly bullied by another cat. That's pretty damaging, you know, like mentally, so it's not really something that we would have wanted for Mia. So that's why we gave her away to a friend. <clears throat> I drove from Texas all the way- uh, I drove from Dallas to Little Rock, Arkansas. Just to give her to a friend. <laughs> that was like a... It wasn't that bad, it was like a five hour drive or something. But the thing was, I went to Little Rock just to drop her off and then go straight back to Dallas on the same day. So it was technically like a ten hour drive. <laughs> All in the same day. <clears throat> he had to do that himself too, because that was the day our disorder, our, our door decided to um, become like jammed with the lock. We couldn't lock it, so I had to stay home and you know make sure no one would break in. Timing was awful. Yeah, our disorder broke. I'm kidding. I wish my disorder broke. So I, I, would, I wanted to blow my nose away from that one. I didn't want to give him 
monkeypox or whatever the new pandemic is. But yeah, um, I actually quite enjoy driving. So it's, it wasn't awful for me. The worst part really was Mia screaming in the car the whole time because she was not used to car rides. Yeah. She was a sweetheart, though. Just a very fucking loud sweetheart. We used to get so mad at Miles, too, because, like, he was just such a dick to her. So, we learned the hard way that Miles does not do well with other cats. And he's kind of an asshole. <clears throat> but. He's very territorial. He loves us, though. But he's yeah. a fucking asshole to other cats. We're not sure, um, because we lost contact with the person that has her now. And... Yeah, I mean... They seem like a responsible person, so I don't, I don't think... I feel like they... They'd be fine. <clears throat> yeah. It's a little... A little hard to explain, but... They are basically just the mutual. So, we don't really talk that much. Our other option was for me to drive all the way to Pennsylvania, like in the Pittsburgh area, to drop Mia off with uh, closer friends that we know. But that is 18 hours. Yeah. So, I don't know if I was really ready to drive that far. Yeah, she is more than likely fine. Does admittedly suck not knowing, but like, again, it's... <clears throat> we have our reasons for not really contacting that mutual anymore. Yeah, I but I don't think... I don't think they do like anything bad or anything. Nah, they definitely so. wouldn't. They're, um, they're, they're definitely a responsible adult. I can say that much. So, honestly, that's all you can really ask for when you're giving a cat to somebody. You sound tired. It's starting to hit me. You want to call this stream? You're starting to hit me. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why would you do that? Um, I'm Wrath. I'm allowed to hit you. That's it. Eh. What? What eh. was that? What I'm are you doing? Wrath. It. You know what? Fuck you. I'm getting mad. Eh. <laughs> you stupid bitch. You good? Oh. Ow. <laughs> a little big stream delay for me. Quit burping on my street. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what a delayed response. What do you want from me? I can't see you. I'm right here. You didn't screen share OBS. Too bad. Eat my ass. We haven't gotten that yet. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, okay. Um, when's the next time we can stream? If, if I keep this up and don't fall asleep at 2 p.m., then maybe we can actually stream Sonic 06 next time. I don't like streaming twice in a row, so Friday? I mean, it depends, because, like, the thing is, I don't like streaming a game twice in a row. This was kind of just a chill out stream, so maybe it's possible, but like I don't want to put too much stock in that. Yeah, whenever we say maybe, guys, assume it's like a 20% chance that'll happen. 
You know what? Eat my ass. <coughs> okay, well, in that case, I think I should end the stream soon, if not right now. In fact, right now, I'm getting tired. You eat your vegetables, go to sleep, and go hug your mom, or your dad, or whoever is a parental figure in your life. And tell them you love them, if they're nice to you. Okay, and, um... Yeah, eat your friends. Wait a minute, I'm just kidding. Bye guys. See you tomorrow, probably.